all right, man, can I cook? Yes, we can. Argo, can I cook one time? Yeah, man. Go ahead and cook it up, man. JJ, can I do my thing? Go ahead and cook it up, man. Tastes just like brandy. All right, all right, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, chat. All right, people, don't let what we think is better ruffle your feathers. Opinions are like assholes, and assholes are like podcasts. Everybody Everybody has has one. one. Make some noise. All right, we're going to start this bitch off right. How everybody feeling today? Feeling good, man. All right, man. Excited Great. to be here. All right. It's, it's been, been a, long a minute. Time coming. We've been plotting on this shit for a minute. Too long, brother. Feels Too long. It's good to finally have it in the works. <clears throat> All right, y'all. This is episode one. And this is brought to you by VMF and Cut Different Brand. Hey. One time for the one time. Mm-hmm. All right, well, listen, what we're going to do now is we're going to basically tell the people exactly what we came here for, um, what brought us here, what we plan on doing, and, you know, just give a little insight on our background. I don't know where y'all want to start. Should I kick it off or? Well, not sure. Go ahead. All right, well. <clears throat> Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is said, Nino. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> he brought me in fly. I was about to do the whole hey, junkie the, thing. Yeah. Like, hi, everybody. My name's Nino. <laughs> hi, Nino. <laughs> nah, but um, everybody here, they, they know me by Nino, but uh, I was born Sean. Shout out to my mama. I can hear my kids. Can y'all hear my kids? They are. Right. Yeah. They good though. They good. All right, this is just be a responsible man. Oh yeah, for sure. He we a doing real this, black father. We doing this from the crib. You know, everybody has one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. for yeah, sure. Yeah, Y'all might have like, one too. You know, it don't matter. But um, <clears throat> broken stereotypes. Yeah, for sure. Long story short, I'm from Dayton, Ohio. Born and raised. Um, I don't know what's. I grew up playing the drums, and then from drums I. Gained a fashion from you, uh, a fashion, a passion. I'm sorry, I done been drunk and high today, <laughs> but I got a passion for music. Um, but I'm a regular person for real. I work a nine to five, I go to work, come home to my kids. You feel me? I'm a family person, I'm a family man for real. Uh, this for me is just like a passion project. I watch podcasts on the daily. I'm a truck driver. That's my nine to five. I get up every day and I punch the clock and I get on the get on the road and I deliver seafood and shit like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, need some of them boxes. <laughs> along the, along, I, I ain't gonna right. lie though. Along when I'm on the road though, it done got to a point to where <clears throat> when I'm like in my thirties, so like young nigga music really don't appeal to me and a lot of people i used to listen to really don't do it no more like that so i found myself listening to podcasts while i'm at work sometimes i work 15 hour shifts and all i do is tune in the podcast and just see what's going on with people behind the scenes because a lot of people i fall in love with before i even hear their music for real like i had more respect for kevin gates mind before i ever heard one of his i heard i heard him speak on an interview before And that's what made me want to tune into him. Some shit like that. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So just listening to uh, people just sit and voice their opinion and me seeing how um, drawn in I was to it. Like I find myself talking to the goddamn phone when I'm at work. Like arguing with Joe Budden or DJ Academics or some shit like that. Like I'm really there. Like they get really here, but you feel me? And I'm like, well, shit. Why not give this shit a shot? So I called a couple people that I knew, I respected, and seen if they wanted to do this shit, and they said they was with it. So we giving this shit a go. That's us roll. That's us roll. Yeah, I don't know who's next, but y'all can go ahead. Swing it whatever way you want. Man, I'll take it, man. You know, man, my name Arco. You know what I'm saying? Just like Big Brother Nino, shit. I grew up playing drums. Been rocking with the music all my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm even lightweight helping instructor now you know what i'm saying just dipping and dabbing with that 
man, it's a whole nother level. But uh, you know, I'm a workaholic too. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, I, I ain't really had too many jobs. Every every job I had, I've been there for three years, four years, five years. You know what I mean? So. You know, I'm a, a loyal ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? So I never forget the days that boy me. he worked at Lee's chicken boy. Ooh, <laughs> oh, hey. oh man, you know I used to come get unlimited chicken wings. Gotta you look hear out me? for my brother. <laughs> that's, that's for all my that's folks. The lit. But yeah, man, you know, I'm just turned thirty, you know what I'm saying? So we this is a new venture for me, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna do this podcast thing. Try to turn up one time. I'm gonna go ahead. Shit, who else wanna Somebody vibe with me? You wanna go? Yeah, I'll go okay. ahead. We no. came to pie. <laughs> How y'all doing everybody? My name's Slim Beasy. I was born Brandon. I'm also 30. I pretty much know everybody in here from doing music locally in the city. Um I I play drums a little bit too, so I thought that was ironic, so I just bring it up as well. <laughs> uh, for, nah, I, I never knew that, bro. Yeah, no. Nah. Who'd you play for? Um, so I went to Allen Elementary, and that's where I did most of my. Oh, you play for yeah, school? For school, okay. yeah. Okay. I was gonna say I also play uh, saxophone, and I also play the trombone. That was where, my, that was the best instrument I picked up. I played string best bass. Okay, okay, for sure. So it was heavy in there because at first it started out as oh man, I could get out of class, and it was like you know what, this is kind of fun. But yeah, man. So these people like family. They invited me to uh, share my opinion. I'm well opinionated, so. I just hope that maybe you will love me. Some of y'all gonna hate me, but uh, <laughs> without further ado, I'm gonna pass it to one of you. Man, Dude. everybody has one. Ain't nobody on that. All right, you know, I'm gonna make my real short, but uh, my name is Brandy. Um, Brandy Danielle Forrest, like on my music set and everything. But um, long story short, for as me, I never played no drums, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always did uh, music, you know, singing from an early age in the, in the church. Um, I did instruments when I was a kid. Um, I started off with clarinet, high school, um, uh, trumpet, but I got into like the drill team dance and all that type of stuff. But as um, far as like these two, like, you know, we already have a little thing going on for us. Like, you know. Hold on, wait, stop. Sorry to stop you real quick, but just for the audio audience only, because yeah. everybody's not going to see us on YouTube. Okay. Let them know who these two are. I was about to get into that, sir. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do your yeah, thing. yeah. Hit the button. <laughs> hit that button. And you know what? This is the first episode, and I mm-hmm. might get it wrong. Hold on. Let me see. Hey, there right go. there, we go. Because I was about to straight get into oh, like part of these two. He wasn't loud enough. I did so, some clown yeah. shit. Hold back- on. <laughs> All right, Bam. That's what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted respectfully. That's my respect. Like I said, that's my brother. As far as these two, BZ and, and Nino. You know, I know them as far as uh, the little dating music scene, you know, as far as us being rappers and everything. And, um, man, it's always been like a respect factor. Like, I ain't gonna, besides the music being good. And she great, dope like, as fuck. Like, it's always been It was undeniable, been especially out of all the female talent we man. used to see on the stage. It was thank undeniable. Thank you. Thank you. But no, <laughs> like, for real, some humble shit. It's always been like major love. I ain't kicked it with you on, you know, me and Brother did music. We. Every time me and him would see each other, it was always Mitch. We did shows together. So fast forward. We done broke bread together. You feel me? So fast forward, that day you hit me up and was like, I'm sitting outside of this damn job I hate. And you like, sis, I'm I'm trying to do this podcast and I need you. You got to do it. I'm like, hell yeah. Because I was already feeling like I was wanting to do something like that. I'm into manifestation. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the day you came to me and you said that, I'm like, bet. And then he was telling me, like, far as the people that he was going to bring along. And I started feeling our vibe and stuff. And it's like, wow, now we here. Started man. Him and now we here. Yeah. So. O- only if y'all knew how long. Started. Man. And that's it. It feel like forever ago. I ain't going to lie to you. Man, so what's up, Not everybody? to me, man. Not to me. I ain't going to lie, man. For it real? like I was just on the phone with you, man. Man, man. You was you called number one. You was called number, you was had, called number one. The, I'm telling you, man. My bad, cuz. I'll do your thing. Nah, it's good. What's up, everybody? This your boy, James, but I'll go by JJ. Um, I was brought into the podcast situation a little bit later, but it was just off Nino. But it's like, man, I got some individuals that we starting this podcast, and I want to add you into the mix. 
And I was like, man, shit, cuz, you know, I'm cool with it. Let me know what's up. I was like, shit, I got to meet him. You got to get the vibe going. But shit, after meeting everybody, Arco, Beezy, Brandy, it's just, what's up? Mix, Southside, Chicago, kid. Man, when it comes to bro- <laughs> broken stereotypes, that's how we is. Mm-hmm. We come mm-hmm. from a finessing background, <clears throat> scamming background, game banging background. So to make it out, when you make it out, it mean more to you, cause you could have been easily pulled back into that that devil playground. So it's always a blessing. But we came in here, finna do this podcast. The introductions have just been done. Let's get it. Let's get these people where they tuned in to listen to. Hell fit. yeah. Let's go. Hey, my man. Money. My man. Why not have Chicago kick it off with a Chicago mixtape, right? right. Album. I'm sorry. All right, so. <clears throat> I guess we're going to start off with the Lil Dirk, Lil Baby album, right? Yes, sir. We're going to do a full album breakdown. And the way we do our breakdowns is we got a ranking from zero to five. Zero is straight Kanye West poopity scoop. <laughs> <laughs> One is underperformed. Two is average. Three is above average. Four is is hard and five is fire slash a bona fide hit in your eyes okay all right right. now during the ranking process i didn't explain this until later which i which is my bad point five yeah there's a point five rule you see what i'm saying yeah so because something might be close to being a bona fide hit but it might be something that's just that just don't sit well with you that it don't just take it straight to a five, so you'll give it like a four point five. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's hard to get a zero because a lot of the people that we're gonna be ranking actually know how to rap, so it's kind of like really hard to be a zero. We man. can change that. I'm saying no. Somebody's gonna change it for us because somewhere I down the line, say, it's gonna be no, somebody. No, because when that, you put that freestyle, which one? Oh, you don't remember that one freestyle you put in the group? That was started by uh hey. look, see, okay. All right. I was just saying, see, if you if we shared that with the folks and we put our opinion on that, <laughs> hey, man. Look, that's though, for another day. But you right? know it's crazy. Did you see it when he um when he he spit a written one? He came back put no, a written man, one. Did down. you see it, Brandon? I didn't know there was life after Bruh. that. I would have watched another one. Bro, no, you <laughs> wouldn't. No, yes, yes, I would have. Because at this rate, I lost it. Bro, I was like, dude, don't even know. Where he bro, he put out another one, <laughs> and then he was talking shit in his thing. Like, yeah, what you think about this? Hey, and then my thing is, is who's <laughs> whose man's is that? Like, that's my question. Like, who told him but, uh, to to right. participate? Hey, bro. And then when I heard it, I'm like, you. really don't know what we want. I'm starting a podcast you, tomorrow, you, dude. You really don't want to know what we think about this, bro. No cap. So you're right. You're right. There's some zeros out here that we mm-hmm. just out of the strength and the love. We just ain't going to go ahead and put you out there like that, man. <laughs> Keep dreaming, man. Keep inspiring to be the best you. All right. So, uh. Like, I love that message, but then I just want to say, like, <laughs> can we normalize telling niggas they weak and mean in it? Like, Gotta absolutely. see it through, my boy. Absolutely. Gotta see it through. Yeah. But you know what? Weak is in the eye of the beholder. There I've you go. That's that. just like beauty. You know what? You're right, because I've been down this road saying somebody listen, else is though. weak and got attacked for it. So. No, listen, though. But listen. <laughs> hey, like, not because a lot of people turned out to actually what's, like that brand of music. No, that listen. I I'm, that's what I'm with. saying. Like, people really, like, fall in love with that mm-hmm. shit. Like, y'all remember Young B? He used to be a part of the pack, and then he you right bass guy, yeah, yeah, Lil yeah. B, Lil yeah, Lil B, B. my bad, yeah, Lil yeah. B, bro. Did y'all like anything he ever put out in Some life? Shit. Did y'all hear Some that? Shit. Wait, I, ain't gonna was funny, so I was bet so funny, listen. but not but good. Talent. <laughs> so check. <laughs> listen though, I, I tell know. you what. Whoa, hey, hold on. So Can we hit the button? He's never heard of Lil B, the bass guy. Lil B. Oh, he he. Listen, he had the worst verse. On the Lil Wayne mixtape. I can't remember what mixtape it was. Um, okay, you remember that uh, Flocka song? It was the uh, yeah. Gangsta Party, Hold Gangsta on. Party, Gangsta Party. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you remember Wayne redid that, right? Okay. You don't remember? What, what? what? what mixtape was that? Uh, All right, man. Hold on. Put, I'm going to tell you what the name of it is. Start dissing him man, and the Lil B curse will be on you. 
came out, man. Man, we the same Sorry, age, bro. Know, we man. we the same age. It was, I don't think it was high school, bro. That wasn't that. high school. That wasn't that long you ago. Don't, you don't diss bass guy. Man, shit. I, man, I was, now I'm talking about. Hey, wait. So a mixtape is promotional use only, right? Yeah. Especially a Little Wayne mixtape. Yeah. For sure. He yeah, don't chart. Sure. So it'd be all right for me to play this verse then, right? It should clear it. I ain't trying to get his. What, what mixtape is it? Um, sorry for the wait, bro. I don't know. Because that's what I thought it was. Like, sorry for the wait. Or was no sellers. No, nah, it wasn't an album. That's definitely sorry for the wait. Right. You might be right. But uh, but 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 the bass guy come in, he'd be like, young bass guy, then yes. this bitch nigga, what's up? Like, yes, that's him. For the wait to make up right for the here. time. Yeah. Yeah, Fame, bitch, shut, what's shut up? up? Shut up, shut up, yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah, this shit. Weak, <laughs> I don't care. I remember this shit. weak, but I don't care. <laughs> I remember this shit. But hey, listen, hey, that's, my, yeah. that's my point. Weak is in culture. the eye of the beholder. Because some people... Yeah, he, yeah, he no, had a whole cult following. No, that's what I was about to say. He if has look, a whole cult following. That's nothing against Lil B. Shout out to Lil hey, B. Hey, shout out to the best guy. Please don't curse our podcast. We would love to have you either through... Because listen, because I don't like... Think about how many songs you done made. That you be like, bro, this trash. But in reality, it probably would have went. We just didn't like it. That's that's a fact. No, what too. it was, what it was with that sound, he was profitable. Because yeah, I'm sure. telling you, no, he had a no. whole cult type of fan yeah. base. Mm-hmm. Nigga, they was really on this nigga's post, like and taking pictures. Hey, at bad. the at the concert, like you know, young base guy, bro. And, him bro, yeah, bro, yeah, I hate to say it, but it was the uh, the people who don't put the seasoning on their food. It really <laughs> They'd be like, bro, I, I, I'll, I'll sacrifice my bitch to the base guy. Like, they was letting uh, they little, they little no, Katie's get up there no, on stage though. and get slayed by the seriously. base guy to come back. And it was like, oh, that's so cool, babe. You got fucked by little V. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, for real. It was weird, bro. But listen, we don't. Branched off to a whole little B conversation. So we gonna have to get, get back, back to, to Dirkio, Schmirkio, and Lil okay. Baby. So look, we said the, the <laughs> that's crazy how we branched <laughs> off to a whole nother conversation. That's gonna happen. So we told you the ranking system. Now we gonna go down and tell you exactly what we thought about each song. Is that cool? Mm-hmm. All right. Cause oh, what about? Let me get a little shot. Shot. That's good. All right, let me ask y'all something. Overall, what did y'all think about the album? On the rating, on the scale, you, you ain't even so, got to rank it. Just so tell for me, me what, I was what your opinion. I was is disappointed. It was hard. I was disappointed. I thought the motherfucker was hard. For it to be Lil Baby and Dirt, I can't think of two other duo that's hotter than them. That was like watching D Wade and LeBron James come up short. Mm-hmm. Like I felt like that was supposed to be, and it's twenty songs. That's a lot. That's and a I'm lot not going. I, I can't give you ten of them that are really memorable. That you know what's get funny? A lot of replay value. That was going to be my point. I feel like they could have did without half of the project. Mm-hmm. You get boring after a while. It's like not it's in, a lot of not in their situation. I'm just saying. It's know. a lot of fillers. Yeah, for sure. Like entirely too many. Like okay, on your ranking system from a. a well, we know what a zero is, but from a one to a five, what level ranking do you see um, album worthy? Like, would you put a three on the album? I would say a three five because I was a three five or some mid. Now, I'm not just talking about just, I'm just asking <laughs> is like per song, each song, what would you consider would be ranking worthy to go on the album? Uh, like, would you put a three on the album? Above average? Um, 
four is hard and five is like straight See, hits, yeah straight because fire. at that rate i, I want to ask you how many songs do I already have on the album all right so listen this is because my... if i got five songs on the album that are are fives yeah go ahead throw a couple threes See, in there look this is my point because you just got to bring it along at that point now you just got to structure it you got to structure it well was it was it 20 songs or was it 18. i, I got 18. Okay, i got 18, 18 okay too. Okay, because me personally, I wouldn't put anything under a four on an album. Right. That makes I, sense. Well, that, that's what I said. I, like I said, so, I'm looking at, I'll say it was hard. I if it was I hard. count, what I'm saying is song for song, though, ranking wise, not overall. I see what song you're saying. For song, yeah, I got that too. All right, like, so four and fives, so nothing under fours would go on an album for me. This is how I uh-huh. ranked it. And we can go back and talk about them if y'all want to. The intro. I gave it a a two out of five. I gave it an average ranking just because the hook was extra basic. I really didn't like the hook, but I liked the chemistry. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's one thing I could say about the whole project they sound like they were supposed to be on the songs together whether i thought they was mid or i thought mm-hmm. they was fire mm-hmm. i feel like cohesively yeah i feel like i ain't seen nobody i ain't seen anybody bump, cohesive yeah. cohesive on a cd like that since probably i can't feel my face mm. you like think it about it much. and this you is ain't thought you ain't like no that. i didn't say i liked it that it much i'm just YouTube. saying their cohesively how they like, okay okay they, mm-hmm. if it was me how they mesh they were mid together yeah but okay if they yeah. were hard they were hard to together me. do you see what i'm yeah, saying no i get exactly what you're saying now i'm not saying that it wasn't song, the talent that he was comparing it was the way Joel's complimented wayne well, and then wayne and complimented like Joel. This, and this is yeah. the only reason that i compare it like that is because this is the first times uh by uh, geographically wise that two people from two different aspects of life got on the song together and they mm-hmm. meshed that well together. Mm-hmm. Joel Santana being relate. from New York, New York. I see that and Lil Wayne being down in Louisiana. Louisiana. Right. Yeah, good way to tie that. And Dirk <clears throat> being from Chicago and Baby and being baby from, being from Atlanta. Atlanta. Mm-hmm. They from completely two different walks of life. Different mm-hmm. sounds too. Mm-hmm, for sure. But when they got together, it was a perfect marriage. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So uh-huh. it don't matter if it was underperformed to me. They underperformed to get. They went out like a and team. You don't think this. I mean, was better. Listen, hold on, wait. Yeah, We're not about to. Face. You do? See, nostalgic wise, I can't really say that, bro. Like, it's certain shit on there, bro. Uh. I came uh, to rap Marco, my hood. I got it. Marco it's saying that shit. he likes this right. better than. Then I can't right. feel my, play, face. my face. Yeah. If I play it right now. If I play, I I'm going to ride. I'm right going to. The birds yeah. flying high. That's just how I feel. <laughs> I'm going to ride out to every song, bro. I'm sorry. I don't know, man. Rubber baby, turn to bro. burn the corners, beating Wait, like right, so listen, so we, we going to act like baby. Well, listen, so we act like little baby, baby and little dirt crazy. did not get us to the pandemic. Them the what's the them was the separately. Best we're not talking about. No, I don't know. Man. I don't, the pandemic I don't was over by the time they dropped through the through the, through the pandemic. I ain't gonna lie. I, I fucked little with baby. Little baby carried this. He held it down for 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 a show. He carried. So listen. All right. So look. Song number he one. Did. I mean, I, I do. I fuck with Dirk though. Now I feel you. Baby so song number one, "Voice in the Hero." I gave it a two out of five. I didn't like the hook, but I like the chemistry. This is me first listen going into the album. Tell me what do y'all gave it? Okay. For me, I gave it a four. I gave it. A I four. gave it a four. Why? Four point five. I gave it a four point five because you saying the chorus didn't then wasn't for you, but as you listening to the bars, they actually saying in that song. It's the, the, the yes. They didn't they need go, a hook. The shit they were saying was so hot. They was saying real. the shit like, damn, if I could recite it. Mm-hmm. But they were mm-hmm. saying some shit on there, mm-hmm. like Dirk talking about at the end. Don't take care of your kids. Like you, I, I, I'm serious about family, so I ain't gonna play about maps. Yeah, shit, saying shit yeah. like that. We all, I, we all can vouch that shit. We don't play about our motherfucking families. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I give you that, but listen. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give both the albums that we review today. I'm gonna yeah. give it a second listen over the weekend. That's cool. Just because you know some things you got to sit on. Right. Everything All don't right. resonate with you the first. So yeah. on episode two, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give y'all what I thought about my second listen. You feel yeah. me? Okay. So go ahead, y'all finish. But uh, the reason I gave it a four is because out of all 18 songs on this 
album, this is the most replayable song. Like, okay, you don't like the like hook so much, value. but yeah, but I love this beat. Like, dude, I swear to God, I, I turn all the music off and I wake up and I hear it. Nah, 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 nah. Like that shit is yeah. hard. I, yeah. well, I need to figure out who made that beat because they showed their ass on that. Like, and then so hey, honestly, I don't think I could have cared what. Dirk or Baby was talking about on that beat. Uh, that beat pretty the much beat just made the go. song just, for me. Yeah, the but but go. but but to give them their credit, they definitely carried their own on the dope ass beat. So I mean, when I heard that hook, boy, it's said a hero. It was like, okay, cool, you did what you had to do, and it separated their two stories. Got you. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so. all right. I'm gonna keep it real. I gave it like three point five four. I'm not gonna perfect like yeah. get a little it bit was closer a beat to the me. mic for me. Sis. It was a beat for me. I ain't gonna purple. Move it over a little bit if you need I feel to. like now There we go. We in this little thing to where she you give me a good ass beat, you gonna suck me in, in anyway. But yeah, I like the uh I love the chemistry and I'm happy you spoke about that. But to I think that was a little reach with the I can't feel my face shit. But, <laughs> no, I'm listening. But but no. However, that was like far as, you know, two different worlds combining. No, I'm and not saying that it's nowhere together. near the as good. The cadence and everything of how they flow and the melody and everything, it does, like, them two together. Yeah, it is dope. It is dope. Yeah. So, yeah, that was I ain't saying story. that it was as good, but I'm saying just think about all the albums that then came out, like duo albums that then came out in the past mm -hmm. couple of years. Who sound that good together? Right. We don't have that many. I don't really yeah, think yeah we, do. we do. It was a whole bunch. Rappers. Future did a, a joint yeah. album with Future. everybody. Drake. Drake. Yeah. No, everybody. But, but yeah, that's what I was going to say. But Doug that was Drake, one of the memorable ones. Oh, uh, 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 Boosie and. Um, Mother. Oh, jeez. I'm going to have to run one. it back because I fuck with both <laughs> yeah, of them. Yeah, I got to so. run it back. Right, back yeah, to the top. Back to the top. Nah, but I'm saying I got to run that back. We might have to speak on that sometime down the. It's a Arco lot of, here. cause you Arco, know. What'd you rate this song? Man, I'm looking down on my, my pad, man. I got a five on it, bro. I was vibing <laughs> to this album, he bro. Like, hey, hey, no, hey, hey, let it be no yeah, Arco. I was vibing, bro. He like, seriously, hard, bro. Right? So, okay. The intro was hard, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I said, man, I think that's, like I said, that's what set the tone for an album. That's pretty much what it take, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. to reel you in. When, yeah, 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 to reel me in, you know what I mean? So. In the next song, and then the next song, you feel me? And then the next song, that's just how I felt. You know what I mean? I ain't give them all fast, but we'll talk about it. All right. So everybody put their ranking on it. Did you put your you put your you put your yeah. goddamn it on it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So let me ask y'all something because it was released on June fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Do y'all see yourself revisiting this album six months from now? For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. It's no. songs on now. That's I was just no. No, like going back and playing the whole album. Maybe, see maybe that show? first song, yeah, I'll probably put it in. Like, hey, so you'll put it in your playlist for sure. The song, yeah, but yeah, that's what I'm talking. No, that's what I'm okay, talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, this song definitely has replayability. Okay, now, for sure. Other songs on the album, I don't know, because like I said, I felt like they fell off after this track. All right, that's so, for when we get to them. So listen, number two was 2040. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I put a five on it. A five on it. I got it. five on it. Dang, I was going to hear some of this right now. We putting that on the soundboard. Yeah. When we do our ranking system, oh, when, was, when you get a five, you get mm -hmm. that butt. Yeah. For sure. Okay. For but sure. um, I gave it a five. I ain't going to lie. The hook was fire. And they both rolled. They moonwalked on that motherfucker, bro. Hey. Say that. They went crazy <laughs> on there, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I gave track number two a five for a shit show, 2040. Yeah, for sure. I gave it a five too, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I gave it a while you. I gave it a five too. I gave that motherfucker yeah, a five. I gave it a four. A four. I thought it, hey, I thought it followed up really well after the first track. All right, so wait, let me ask you. Let's not just give our rank and tell me what you liked about the song if you remember anything about it, because I can understand. When you consuming mm -hmm. 18 songs yeah, at a time, yeah. that's, mm -hmm. that's a right. lot of shit yeah. to remember. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. See, but this is one that's of those songs that they sneak into my YouTube, YouTube playlist. Mm -hmm. So it's like once I listen to it, now they just kind of give it to me here and there. And so I was like, all right, you know what? I can. 
it's it's replayable. Yeah. So that's that's what sticks. And then like I said, I don't I don't have like a favorite part, but like I said, I know the song. Like I looked up and was like, oh, I, what a song is this? I heard this on the album, and then I was like, oh, this is that twenty forty, and then so I was like, all right, cool. I'm a fucker, it's got a flow. I mean, I, I kind of feel like the Simon Cowell on this album because like y'all five and them out the door, and I'm like, four, <laughs> four and a half. <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna lie. If y'all want to, while we talk about it, we can like preview like the beginning of the because, like yeah. I said, what we play yeah, I on thought here, you had it brought up. They won't hear the volume. You feel oh me? yeah, for sure. My bad. What song we just talking about? Twenty forty. We gonna start off right there then, yep. just because I ain't gonna lie. I gotta hear some of this shit, some of it. Hey, that was dope. I ain't gonna lie. I'm telling you, they did their thing on there. Straight dope. They did their motherfucking thing. <clears throat> All right, so back to our ranking system. Y'all keep talking. No, y'all ain't got to just wait for me. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. Number three is a song called um, Hats Off featuring Travis, Travis Scott. Scott. I fucked with it. Yes. I gave it a four. I gave it a four, man. I said earlier I messed with Travis Scott. So you I ain't gonna lie. That's why I feel like I was listening with my old man ears, bro. Word. Play it. Yeah, I gave it a three. Oh, yeah. Really? For real? This is one of the my. This is one of my favorites. I it was gave above, it a five, but I gave it so a four. Oh, I liked it because I, you would you would never put a Travis Scott, Lil Baby, and Dirk together. Yeah. So that's what made yeah. like. And then the, the vibe wasn't too crazy. Right. For me. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? It was still control. It was controlled chaos. But that's why I was like, okay, I got that off, but. Do tell about this three and why. I don't think it was chaos. I don't think it was chaotic at all, man. It was well. No, that's what I was saying. Like I, I, that's what I predicted yeah. was it was okay. chaos, but it was way right. more controlled than chaos. Yeah, I ain't gonna <clears throat> lie. Um, can we all agree that I love Travis Scott to death, but he ain't talking mean. about shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably okay. that's probably what my thing. I'm big on but, content, mm-hmm. but but Nino, he he. The way he rapped that shit and like makes it sound, bro, it's a whole vibe. Wait, it's a ride. That's crazy. Like, Listen, oh, I'm saying like that a role player. I'm saying that it's based I mean? on content. But wait till we get to that Young Thug song. I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> purple lie. bag, purple bag. Listen. So that's another one that I like. But I'm because be of Thug though. Thug killed that that hook. Did anybody rank it at five? The thug is on? No, I gave, um, it, I gave it this song. You no, gave it. A I gave it. A, I gave no, it a no, four point five. The with Travis Scott. Yeah, yeah, the hats yeah. off. Yeah, you gave it a hats five. Off, I gave it yeah, a five. I with it. I oh well, yeah. Man. She said she she Travis Scott. Cool, oh, listen. girl. All right, because I ain't gonna lie, this thought about it. You know, this is our first episode, so you know, we gonna work our way through this shit. It's gonna fuck around and be like a three hour pot. How long? Oh y'all? my god! How much time y'all got? Hey, niggas gonna have to eat. I but I was about to say. All right, <laughs> so look. But nah, I got time. I'm, shit, I got time. See, I ain't gonna lie. Like album reviews, that's a whole episode by itself. Yeah. You feel like it? Heck yeah. Yeah, I ain't know we was gonna Deep do dash. a whole in depth yeah. track by track. Why I thought not? Was I would, be, or, you feel why, me? Why, the, why well, not? you can pick your favorite song out of it. Cause my favorite song on the mixtape is "Make It Out." Like Dirk got on that motherfucker and talked yeah. like a Chicago nigga was supposed to fucking talk. Like the man when he said that shit was like, man, had to wash your ass in the motherfucking sink. Yeah, that make it out. It was hard. I Come on, on wait. Let's let's go down the let's go down the list so we could go ahead and run through the the track list. Say what we feel and then get on some of these other topics. Cool. Yeah, sure. Sure. All right. So, th- uh, hats off. I gave it a three out of five. You know, I gotta hear that one. I don't remember that one. With Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Oh shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Everybody, throw your numbers out there. Three out of five. Oh, uh, uh, four point five. Hats off. Hats off. I said four. If the, what the head off has off? Yeah, with Travis Scott. That's a five. It. No, I that's said a four. four. You talking about make it out? That's a five point five. <laughs> All right, bet. Boom. Bad. Track number four. Who I want? What y'all give it? I ain't gonna I keep said it going average, first, man. Did uh, you? I, yeah, I said. I what say you I gave give it? Like a, a, a two. A two. I gave it a two. You gave it a two. I, I want to hear some of you. <laughs> be honest, I don't even remember you that song. Hell yeah! All right, boom. That was a long ass fucking album. For sure. I was mad that culture was was what 
twenty what twenty two. Yo, oh, hey, can, no I, I don't, we after, muted right after, now, right? Mm-mm. After no, a while, I like, can mute. Know, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I was gonna mm-hmm. say, but speaking of culture, nigga, how did they clear that avalanche beat? That Papa was a Rolling Stone sample from the Temptations. I, how? How did they clear that, bro? Yeah. Somebody got. Some no, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Right. They weren't really worried about making money off of it as much as they was gonna make performing it on the road. Right. So, so yeah, you think you can, they're gonna lose money from that track? For sure. Right. For sure. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I was sure. wondering how it got cleared. Like mm-hmm. that'd be like the lose. That'd be like the lose. Barry win. Gordy clear that. <laughs> right. Right. Nah, but that'd you be know. like the lose win. Yeah. No, I get what you said. Like the whatever they're gonna get fined. You gotta sacri- cool. yeah, yeah. You gotta sacrifice yeah. that to catch to that money on the, on the road. Yeah. Think about it. The world done opened up. They about to go crazy. Don't they got a tour code? We outside? Or somebody got a tour code? We outside? I think it's Dirk and Baby got a tour code. We outside. All right. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I ain't hit. All right. But this is uh, Lil Baby and Lil Dirk who I want. Should I mute it? Should I mute it, y'all? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It don't matter. Yeah. 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 I mean, the people that's listening to this, I would hope they would be listening to music. <laughs> See, twenty seconds ain't gonna make you remember what you what you do or don't like about it. True, but it'll make you remember your rating. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I give you that. So I gave it a two out of five. Hey, you know what? I agree with that. I think I had ranked it a little higher than what I was because I think yeah, that was another song too. I was thinking I did about. not like that hook at all. You. It's you. Like, the, listen, it's not, not even that part, but do you see what this nigga is promoting? That nigga said, I can't split rent with my bitch. That's some shit you do with a hoe. You split, <laughs> you split, you split, you split rent with a hoe. Right? No, for real. I'm yeah. not even dealing with a hoe. It's, tell me about it. Well, hey, ain't this what? the same nigga that said that? <laughs> that's I, the I, one, that that's bar- one is three. I can't support you personally. <laughs> I'm, oh, shit. I'm lost. Yeah. Now niggas contradicting themselves. But hey, you know when you rich, you can do that though. Yeah. Like maybe he does pay a couple side. He spent seven thousand on splitting little shit. Bro, so. The Me Too and movement. And she wasn't even cute. The bad. Me Too <laughs> movement should cancel oh. him for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What does Me Too have to do with that? Right. What What you mean? Women feel like they equal to men. That's not Me Too. Me Too is about rape. Is and it? rape culture? No, yeah. feminism. Yeah. It's feminism. It's not just about rape. It's about Feminism. equality I between. The, I thought the Me Too shit thought, was about everybody getting what touched am I in thinking, Hollywood. What am I yeah, thinking right. about, sis? That's part. Feminism. Partial. Oh, okay. Feminism. So there is more to it. Feminism. Yeah, that's feminism, though, where they're like, we Are want you equal sure? rights. Fem- and- feminists feminist women hey. want everything equal to a man. That's feminism. <laughs> talk your shit, talk, sis. Talk, talk your shit, queen. Sis. Talk your shit, I'm queen. I'm not a feminist, by the way. <laughs> fuck all that shit. That's white people agenda. That's another episode. It's odd to me, just the, the whole feminist movement. Like, it's just a little odd to me. Like, y'all want to be men so bad, but y'all not. Like, so, chill. Like, there's just, how can you compete when you don't compare in certain places? Like, man, that's why you you can never call the cops as a man and be like, I'm getting beat on. Y'all absolutely right. I used the wrong term. But it's okay, though. <laughs> this nigga had to look it up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what the Me Too movement. <laughs> you know you didn't fuck that right. 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 Yeah, it's, it, it's about the social movement against sexual abuse and sexual harassment yeah. where people publicize mm-hmm. allegations of sex crimes. Yeah, mm-hmm. so brother. This Brother was an educational right. moment. We'll bring up doing Bill Cosby or something, like, <laughs> bro. Don't talk about yeah, Big Jim. I'm not talking about Bill Cosby. I'm not talking about Bill. Like like about Bill. Bill. Man, uh, uh, Harvey Weinstein. Not, hey, yeah. put some respect on my nigga name. That's no Big Jello. Hey, hit the button for my nigga Big Jello, man. That's he Big out. Jello, man. <laughs> no Bill Cosby. <laughs> no Bill Cosby. Don't be hating on no, my man, man. I ain't hate. That's a whole other can of worms y'all give me started. Fuck y'all thought this was. When we was done potting, it was jello shots for everybody. (laughs) 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 Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. While we on the aspect, though, any Stiller fans in here? Of course not. Who? Okay, great. 
So what does Ben Roethlisberger hey, and Bill hey, Cosby hey, have in hey, common? Hey, <laughs> this is where I come in and I have to be the director of conversation. We have to get through this rate. <laughs> we have to get through this album rating, bro. So uh, That's going to be so long. <laughs> Nah, but you know what I realized about track number four, though? The who I want. That's when I realized I just wish Lil Baby would quit using auto-tune because he does not need it. He don't need it. Oh, that's some gas. He don't need it, but I ain't going to lie. That's lightweight when I really, really started fucking with him, though. It's too much. He put too much auto-tune. He damn near sound like Optimus Prime on that motherfucking nowadays, bro. (laughs) But okay, funny, he got like, way too much auto tune on his voice. It's funny bro. because like when he don't, in my opinion, when he don't use auto tune, I swear to God, in my opinion, him and Vaughn sound just alike in a freakish way. Is that just me? Nah, I don't feel like he started to sound like Vaughn until Vaughn got hot. <laughs> Maybe mm, I'm so used to hearing that auto tune there. Like he yeah. used. I, they that's use the, the same. That's when, that's when he turned. They up. use the I'm same rap cadence. I don't like auto tune Dirk though. No. Yeah. I like some. I can't I compare him to the other one because what I you ain't, think? I you know. What? What you think about what we Whoa. talking about? <laughs> nah, I was just playing. I'm in the mix, but it's different because if we go back, my range about Dirk will take me back to 2010. Will take y'all me back. Get him back, y'all. Y'all. This what? Around, this what? This, what, what, this when he was. That was my shit. That was, was that's doing, the end. Um, but you gotta know. Wasted. He know um, Dirk before this. This is what he you was doing. Was, wasted. Is, um. He did wasted. That's the plies and Gucci. He redid that. Um, he did I ain't the. Heard that. Yes, that's is it on YouTube? Yeah, is it on YouTube? Shit. Yeah, dress wasn't even hanging in. They was I was dead. before they got long. Yeah, but yeah, but shit. If you go back to it, it's just I fuck with both parts of them, auto tune and before it because sometimes. He raw as fuck with that. Had to put the auto tune on, but it makes his music sometimes just because the voice, because he got the singing in him. The voice. I can't even say I don't like auto tune Dirk because Love Song for the Streets had some auto tune oh, on. Yeah. And I'm talking about, bruh, I can listen to that CD from the beginning to the end, bruh. It was that Tiana Taylor one that he did. Uh, that was, oh man. Uh, That's why I'm like, okay, let me, let me check this little nigga out. <laughs> I already knew kind of about you know from the little Chicago background, but like you know that's a whole different story because that the whole story behind that intrigue. <laughs> yeah. As far as the music, is it be motherfuckers that be all into the Chicago shit? Yeah, they ain't mm-hmm. even listen to none of these niggas. Uh, oh yeah, music, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, but when I say for the that, mo- I ain't gonna lie, for the most part that was me. If I'm be honest, DJ so. Academics, I knew about motherfuckers I shouldn't have knew about in Chicago because of DJ Academics. Like, people... The Grim Reaper. Yeah, he got, like he people, got, he got <laughs> famous off of it. Like, like what's, he what's, did it in a com- comedy way. Like What's buddy it. name? Is it Lil J or Young J? It's Lil J. It's Lil J. It? See what I'm saying? He never even reached, like, any, like, heights of music for real because he went to jail before, um, before he actually made it. But I knew who the fuck he was because of the shit that was going on because of DJ Academics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The agent, allegedly. I knew that was coming. Man. So <laughs> we gonna get to that. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't trust that chipmunk looking. Calvin <laughs> uh, the chipmunk looking. Groundhog Day looking. Look like he packed nuts in his jaws. Okay, allegedly. <laughs> we gonna edit all of that out. <laughs> How you gonna edit that now out? The baby yeah. the potato is. He got the getting Ooh, on that. I was, I was, I was, I was already keep going. I really did. Don't you edit that out now? Nah. DJ Academic. That Raw, nigga named over some clothes Raw, that nobody Bra- wore no more. Raw <laughs> Brandy, no Brandy. chaser. You hear me? You don't trust no grown man that sits up in a small room with Fortnite shit. <laughs> All on his goddamn laptop screensaver. Oh, oh no, mess around with Takashi Six allegedly. Shit, that's deep. But he nervous. He dropping phones and shit. He nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, bro. This is what we signed up for. Oh, yeah, Podcast shit. Everybody has one who. That no, that <laughs> <doom. laughs> Shout out to DJ Academics. <laughs> <laughs> come after me. Don't come after the only. <laughs> Shit, oh, I fuck with it. So listen, I ain't gonna lie. He biased. No, I'm, I ain't even thinking about that. We're no going more. to the next track. 
Do you want to? Because everybody wasn't. Look, <coughs> hey, what, what I think I just want to do is, yeah, because look, I think we should go through our overall album rating, what we rated the whole overall album and again. Because I go to the next, and the next topic. All right, because yeah. we spent a lot of time. A lot. Hey, man. So I'm look, hungry. it's too easy. This is what man. I'm gonna say. If I rank, it's 18 songs, and if I only took the four and the fives that I picked f- off the CD, yep. it'd be two. Yep. 20 for 2040. 2040. It'll be track number eight, medical. It'll be 10 lion, 11 okay, 13 please, mm-hmm. 14 up the side featuring Young Thug. I don't know what it is about Young Thug, but I have grown to love this nigga's yeah. voice. Like, he really using his voice like an instrument, bro. Half the time, I don't even understand what the fuck this nigga nope. saying, but I'm yeah. sitting there mumbling some bullshit <laughs> to whatever he's what saying, bro. Can, can I be honest? I think NBA Youngboy getting good at that as well. I've been quarantined, chilling with my kids while they teach me how to cha-cha. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro, this nigga's the GOAT, bro. I'll fuck with that. They ain't gonna lie. So, I done lost count. Uh-huh. Let me see. Let me see. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, if I just did my four and my fives, it'd be like eight songs. That's damn near half the CD. That's why I say half the CD could I could have went with half. It was a lot of fillers. Like I felt like that Meek Mill song was a waste of time. Absolutely. It's Every song, part man. of it though, I feel like they didn't have <laughs> they, to put that I, on hey, there. I bro. don't even feel like they collabed with Not that. Really. I felt like they sent it to they him, and then it. yeah, but it, I was like, like just sent say like, I just felt like the shit I mean, right. that's damn near fifty percent. So fifty percent, I give it like a. So overall rating, I have to give it like a. Another banger was that Rich Off Pain with Rod Wave. You know what? I can't stand Rod Wave. But let me I tell you, I get tired of him singing. But let me tell you why that song worked. <laughs> because the hook, he's saying, I got rich off pain. I got rich off pain. And he really got rich off mm-hmm. crying. Yeah. Yes, literally. <laughs> yeah, so I, I respected that song. Mm-hmm. I respected what he did on it. It fit perfect. You see what uh-huh. I'm saying? I wasn't mad at it. Yeah. But I couldn't listen to a whole Rod Wave CD. Oh man, I he, he got it. he got a couple of them, man. I can ride to, bro. He, I ain't. he too well, emotional. Well, send them to me. Yeah, that's that, I'm yeah. sorry. Send and them PTSD, to me. PTSD, man. I, I can. I like that one. And uh, I just get tired of hearing it. Just sound like that's he's another crying. one. I think of. Well, yeah. Too emotional. Be sound like he be crying. <clears throat> That's another reason why I couldn't really like. I respected uh, Juice World's uh, music, but mm-hmm. I really couldn't get it. It's just too emo, too emotional. Mm-hmm. I hear the <laughs> you know. No, that, yeah. Right away, got some. Like I said, he got some bangers. He got some mm-hmm. shit that make you sit up and your bed like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> he right, you know, like on some shit like that. But yeah, wow, but, you like you gotta snap up out of it. Yeah, like what the I'm fuck? Weak. <laughs> and this new oh, generation the loves the emotion. <laughs> They love hearing that shit. It's they love emotion. hearing these stars want to be vulnerable. I don't get it. I don't turn on sad shit because it's going to make me sad. You ain't right. lying. <laughs> Why though? Like, you can't just sit up there and listen to music. Like, it's just entertainment to me. Like, I, that's just how I look at it. Man, like, listen. No, that shit is say, vibrations like, and frequencies, bro. I can be happy as fuck. Like, and then here, what's yeah. with the soft fucking song? A uh, Whitney Houston song. Oh, it just fucked my back. Yeah, like, hey, yeah. Yo, it'll hey. take you somewhere yeah, completely like, different. Like, damn, bro. My grandma used to love this song, bro. Like, like I wish grandma Luther was there type you shit. Turn yeah, so. to come on. Like, no. Dance with my exact. father. Hell no. What but the? That, you know, that's different, though. No. Like, and then that. come and find this out he was, was gay. Like, it, you know, that was nah, crazy. Feel, I guess that's a whole other life experience. You know what I'm saying? That it makes it mine. But you said listen to music. So when shit on shuffle, it goes everything you got on that motherfucking phone. What's so, that damn so, song about logic and shit? I, I ain't gonna say I be riding down the street. Which one? Oh, that, uh, I just want to die. I just want to die. Like, I just want to die today. Now, I ain't gonna sit there and listen to that. Like, <laughs> like damn. <laughs> that ain't what I'm trying like, to hear. Hate this job. Like, nah, but, 
I hate my fucking kids. That's, <laughs> I hate these bills. I hate this one. Make sure you don't say I'm gonna wreck this goddamn car right now. <laughs> it is like it's some very like low frequency music out there yep. that can fuck up your vibrations. Like for real. Hey, so yeah. um, uh, what was your rating though for the whole album? This nigga still on the album. <laughs> oh, for, uh, <laughs> Cause I just want the people to everybody, know our opinion so we can get off of it. Yeah. So for the whole album, the songs I like, I give it a four. I shot high. I liked it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, overall, for me, the whole album. The whole album. Um, because I'm not gonna lie, with 18, I don't remember every freaking song. Mm-hmm. But honestly, overall project, as far as uh chemistry, of course, I was kind of surprised when I seen that this two little duo was coming. Mm-hmm. I give them an eight and a half. As far as um Girl, production, zero to five. shut up, <laughs> shut up. I'm getting there. Or as production and everything of the music, I felt like some beats were kind of repetitive. So I give that probably like a seven. But overall, I'm gonna give the whole project at least about a mm, eight point five. That's me. So you still thought it was hard, basically? Yeah. 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 It was dope. Likewise, yeah, I just yeah, y'all know how I feel about it. All right. Yeah, all right. Sure. <laughs> so what's the next topic? So would you ride to it again? Like, oh, yeah, definitely. everybody. Yeah, I ride for sure. I gave it up for the sure. whole album. Where the I hell am I to. going? I probably play maybe a couple of singles. <laughs> that I like. I That's play. what I said. Hey, I got to yeah. drive to Florida to listen <laughs> to the whole album. <laughs> uh, I probably have to uh, yeah put some little playlist play, uh, playlist songs on on YouTube. Yeah, no, nah, I say it's about <clears throat> about eight. Out of 18, that's replayable. Like, okay. that you just gonna go find just to listen to. So, yeah. It's got replayable. It was a specific one I actually like. I probably wouldn't listen to it again. I don't, I can see that. I'm not too shocked by that. I just want singles. I wouldn't I want do the whole album. I told you, I, I still thought that they kind of undercut me. Like, man. To, yeah, it was like, um, it was too many throwaways. Absolutely. So I couldn't listen to the whole album. I felt like half this through. album was made when they was on the road. He like, hey, you like this? I'm just shoot you this beat, bro. It's an open spot, and it was yeah. Who do y'all think picked m- most of the beats on the project? I felt like Baby picked them. Hell yeah, yeah, of course yeah. he that's, did. That's, that's Baby type beat. He, he controlled the whole album, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, for, the production was real good, but at the same time, like the beats to me was like I felt like it was something I already heard before. Yeah. It was, I mean. I and mean, I think that's what's wrong with these artists. Yeah. Y'all, y'all don't go outside the box. Last door on the left. When get you go y'all upstairs. different type of producers. Don't get comfortable with this. Matter yeah, fact, with just that the, one guy. Yeah. 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 And that's how it used yeah. to be. You know what yeah. I'm you saying? You can tell he took when over I'm, that whole project mm-hmm. before it's the beats. But you know how the industry looking now, it's like they all about the waves. Like like how Migos, when they had their whole little thing going, everybody wanted that sound. And that's I feel like that's why a lot of the beats and stuff repetitive because However, I will get to the Migos. Them niggas will get together with different producers. Uh, what was that? Uh, that was my jam. Stir fry. In the kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a stir fry. I'm like, damn. Who the fuck? Mm-hmm. Looked it up. For Must real? Be. Oh, that was Y'all for real? Y'all got one for real? The oh, Neptunes? Yeah. You can't tell by that beat? Nah, you could okay. no, no, no. You could not tell what that. I don't care. What you, you probably call. couldn't tell until, until you find, find, until you find out. I I could then it will probably that. register. Yeah. It was so different from what I had heard from them. I said, Ah, oh, yeah. I'm, they mm. use more acoustic, uh, also okay. like little futuristic. Ooh, yeah, like that's all his that whole type thing. of stuff. Like, but yeah, that like, beat right there, that was different. Are you not familiar with NERD? I was like, bro, his that shit was crazy. He used to put out like it was so before his time. It almost was not hot. Of course, but that was something a little different from their usual work. Yeah, for sure. In the past. NERD, NERD and Neptunes, they involve two of four of the same people, but it's like two entire different entities. Mm-hmm. NERD was more like an a alternative rock. Rock, yeah, for sure. Type yeah. Rap, pop. Yeah, yeah. And Neptunes yeah. produced for any from pop, pop. to rap yeah. to mm-hmm. R&B, however you wanted it, you feel mm-hmm. me? But that was still mainly like him and Hugo. No nah, Chad. Chad. Well, Chad. Chad Hugo. Oh, yeah, you, my yeah. bad. You right, big dog. Look, <laughs> but yeah, it was still them as the base of it. They just had like the little, what was that cop car? No, not, it was no cop car. It was something like that. I can't, I can't remember. We getting old. For sure. But yeah. Y'all hear about Mario Chalmers? 
Mario, Mario, hey, so. Mario, man, he been <laughs> Mario been talking crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mario been talking. Give me a hit. First, um, I, I, it, I might be leaving some stuff out, but I'm gonna start with this, man. What the hell is you thinking? You can team up with LeBron to get him another ring, bro. It, it's that over with, stop. baby. It's over with. So I can see his confidence because you know he hit that game winning shot to get him the NCAA man. championship. So, so but he, he was almost the reason that the LeBron super team didn't get rings too because uh-huh. he was bad when he played in Miami, like so bad. Think oh, about whoa, it. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. He Chalmers? Hit, he hit some threes to make the yeah. Chalmers I, I was too, just about to say. That at bad. first years with Dallas, he, he was wasn't too bad. Boo-boo. But when they played against the Spurs and they went, he was... I was y'all didn't Mario let me Chalmers finish because he had his moments. He had his moments. That's what I was going to say. Like, oh, he almost cost, but then Mario he came Chalmers through. got carried on that, on that team. Oh, you said he got carried. He got carried he on got, that heat team? I yeah, thought you said he carried. No, he got carried. Like, they... He could have been a lot better. It was Chambers and Norris Cole. Yeah, Norris Cole was rap. That's who the they point guards yeah. was doing them championships. That's what I'm saying. You know who could they who if, they could have went Chalmers without? Mar- they could have back him up, man. They could have come on, man. They could have went without Battier. I know this is about that boy Norris Cole. That's who they could have went without, come bro. Come on, man. For sure. That's who who that's who they could have went without for sure. But uh, <laughs> yeah, buddy. But so he he buddy was he right can't now. shoot unless he, his feet is planted. He had this, and he got to be wide you know open. I mean, but you know he was a good defender though. Yeah, he most definitely. He's known for his defense Man, too. He's basically saying right now that he can take the pressure off of Anthony Davis. You know what I'm saying he can feel that role. <laughs> how old is Mario <laughs> Chalmers? How, how, how tall is Mario Chalmers? Buddy tripping. How old is this man oh. now? Man, right. Because oh, he's 1986, bro. so he ain't. Don't try to, hey, I'm 87. Don't try to make sense. I don't even know, man. Well, no, nah, we speaking in basketball years, Brandy. But yeah, 1986. <laughs> so he kind of old. And he been out the league for how many years? Brandy, how do you know how old Mario Chalmers is off she the top of your head? Up. No, she <laughs> just picked her phone up, bro. <laughs> Quit the cap, bro. I'm, I'm looking shit up. Oh, look, shit. look, you see what the hell I'm doing. Look. Bro. When did Mar- Mari? When did Brandy pick her phone up, bro? Let me- she had been May nineteenth, nineteen eighty six. She loved dude. Old. Hello. So, yeah, he thirty five. She loved dude. How yeah. many yeah. other thirty five year olds you know in the league right now? They Brandy. Like, like, besides, bro. You a basketball bro. fan? I'm an yeah. old school basketball fan. I know this. Like how old? Oh, like Mario like Chalmers, George. Miami uh, Heat. Oh, uh, go back to Michael Jordan oh, days. Uh, let me see. Carl Malone, Sean oh, yeah. King. Sis. Okay. Keep it 100. Yeah. You, Sonics, you, want right Kemp, you want him to give Mario You want him to give Mario Chalmers a shot, though, don't you? No, like, you, you know, we're talking for... about a shit. I'm going to look up shit. I'm just fucking yeah, with you. You, pick, you, you. you did that yeah, real here, quick. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. we know who's going to be the motherfucking um, the fact checker. Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> for sure. Fact. So he thinks that he could play in the NBA in this day and age? Bro, you can't even shoot for real. He played over. Didn't he do his thing overseas? Did he? Yeah, a little bit. He did his thing overseas. He was. Uh, well, I forgot. Stephon Marbury is a legend overseas. Yeah, yeah so. for sure. Yeah. He's Michael Jordan overseas. Oh, overseas. But, but who yeah. don't yeah. do they yeah. thing AI overseas? AI is too. Alan Iverson is too. Like, wasn't Daquan uh, Cook a household name? Did you see how they? Did you see how they treated Alan Iverson when he first Absolutely. got over there? Oh, I love him. <laughs> they what? carried him around like Michael Jackson, bro. Tell me about it. Man, he was with the big three too. You ever heard yeah. of the big yeah, three? Yeah, I actually went down there. I actually went down there, yeah, actually went down yeah, there when he sure. was in Kentucky. They they did it in Kentucky. They I remember y'all did that. Yeah. You went with um, Javion's guy mom, didn't for you? Sure. I remember. Yeah. I think uh, him and LeBron was on the same team in the big three too at one point in time. That's probably what gave him the confidence to try to, you know what I mean? Oh, Step yeah, in absolutely. and say he can feel that. Hold role. on, you said who he and who was on the same three? team? LeBron Mario and Mario Chalmers. LeBron, LeBron, LeBron didn't play. LeBron played on the big three? Yeah. At least no, 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 the drinks are heavy today. Hey, yeah. like he, I'm like, wait, what? He played for the big three. What the fuck? I was about to look him up real yeah, quick. Up. 
For sure. I'm like, I ain't know that shit. Yeah. You tripping. I'm pretty sure Ice Cube don't got enough yeah. money. He, said, <laughs> he got some money, but I ain't gonna say he don't got enough money for LeBron, but I know mm-hmm. he's not willing to give LeBron that much yeah, fucking man. money. LeBron couldn't do it because the NBA got him in some Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he ain't about to just go out and hoop like that. Yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about it, but did, did everybody see Space Jam? Nope. I, I watched I it last night, I haven't man. seen it yet. I, I didn't. I, I watched it last night. I watched it. I don't know why. I, my um my HBO Max has been like. I gotta watch it again. I fell asleep. Ooh. See, oh. you you See, watched it on HBO yeah, Max? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I ain't gonna lie. Can we all agree that that HBO Max was like a a a, a, a heaven sent? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sure. absolutely. You know how much money yeah. I wasted going to the movies? Man. Oh my man, god. What? The movies ended up watching me. To fall asleep like how I did anyway. Yeah, yeah. See, but that's my point. Exactly. You don't, yeah, and then now I can watch it again. You wasted your money because it's there. You got to like August fifteenth. Exactly. That's, that's how you know you're getting old, though, ain't it? You go, you can't Man, even sit no. through a whole movie yeah. no more. No, but I, I struggled as a young guy. It's something in that butter, that popcorn, Man. that butter. Man, them seats too comfortable. It's dark and it's cool. That's just the new seats. Oh my god. What are we doing here? What are I we paid doing? For this right. nap. Yeah, you no tri- for hey, I paid for this nap. Man, Luxury look. nap. It's cool in there. You don't get all Real sweaty cool. on the leather. They all. fucked me up, man, when they put them seats in there, bro. Then you eat fifty dollar popcorn. That's sure. the finesse. Man. Ten dollar fucking sour that's the hands. that's the finesse. That's the finesse until you see a little yeah. little bug crawling. Oh across. no, <laughs> what? where are you at? She going to Huber Heights. Everybody know better than that. Little bed bug crawling across. Oh no, 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 no! I bet it don't happen to me because HBO Max made it to hey, where I that. never hey, thank go you, to the HBO Max Paramount Plus again. Oh, shit, I can have the movies in my living room, mm-hmm. hey, man, straight up. I'm about to get a popcorn maker, buy a box of uh, soft pretzels and some cheese dip. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna charge you niggas three dollars at the door. What's this LeBron talk about commentating, man? What he getting scared, man? He act like he don't want to play oh, no more. I didn't side. even, hear, I didn't even hear about it. Well, hey, come on, hold man. on, wait, wait, wait. No, Before LeBron y'all say this, hold team, on. Man. Who your favorite? Who your? Hold on. Can I, can I say this real quick? Go ahead. Uh, my damn cousin. This is the one I was saying that said something about Space Jam. Like, what the hell is Space Jam without I Believe I Can Fly? This is the one I was talking about. Oh, her. Oh, she, <laughs> truly, she said you boy. She said you boycotting. Um, she, she truly, said, like, she, she don't want to watch You know damn well they could. Like, well, they because I, put no, I, I Believe I, know, I Can Fly. I I'm not going to put no spoilers in it since a couple of us haven't seen it. But this one is way more for the children than the first page. Absolutely. Jam was. Absolutely. So I just thought it was so funny once I got back on social media mm-hmm. and saw all them grown ass men saying that it was Slam. a cheesy movie. Yes. Like, mm-hmm. did do you know what you signed up for? Mm-hmm. But that's that's another mm-hmm. whole another talk within itself because nineties movies wasn't made for just children. Like even though it was targeted at the children, Absolutely. like they made it for adult audiences as well. It was supposed well, to not be for children. Thing. That's exactly. how they yeah. promoted. That's why I said, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They said it's a child movie, but we know you have to tag along. We too. were just talking right, about right, that yesterday. Right. Exactly. Like Ren and Skimpy was some of the in. nastiest shit <laughs> on Very TV. cruel. Very cruel. Why was Cat Dog? Cat Dog. Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life was nasty as shit. It was definitely perverted. Why was Cat Dog? Our Real Monsters was nasty. That definitely was perverted too. I used but, to love that. But that's a cool classic. Sure. I was just about to say that's got nostalgia hey. to me. For you know sure. Even though I know it's got some fucked up shit in it, like mm-hmm. I show it to my kids, like, hey, I grew up watching this. Hold on, what? You show I real you? monsters. I'm talking about I them sh- car- I, cartoons I, I and show shit. Them yeah. I real monsters. I've yeah. never shown nah. Rocco. What's over with? No, nah, not Ren and Stimpy. They can't see not, Rocco. No, they no. can't see Ren and Stimpy. Mm-hmm. They can't see Cow and Chicken. Cut no. that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, yeah, not that, but you know, some of the I things. Cut like, out SpongeBob. I ain't. Hey man, they getting out of control. Nah, they super, they, SpongeBob I never liked. I never liked SpongeBob. Yeah. Y- y'all see that episode where uh, they found that clown, him and Patrick, and they took never the clown seen, home. They I became probably a couple seen, and shit. Uh-uh, Three man. episodes ever in my life, ever. Man, SpongeBob had the little dinner coming out the oven, and Patrick coming home from his construction job. He said, well, "Where have you been? Uh-uh. Oh no, cut that TV off, son. Uh-uh. <laughs> you ain't gonna uh-uh, don't program a child. Ooh, I'm a program a child. I'm a Gundam warrior, Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball Z. Z. Hey, uh-huh. you Kakarot. Uh, for <laughs> sure. I'm a um. I'm a, I'm a Ronin lover. warrior. I'm a tsunami kid. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. I'm a WWF. Man, Nick, what? Ah, Stone Cold Stunner Geese. Right. Sweet champions. <laughs> who, who your favorite wrestler? 
Nigga, it doesn't matter who's your favorite wrestler. It's a button. It's a button. It's a button. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though. Kick your ass. I quit watching wrestling. You had to. Yeah. But if you still watch wrestling after the John Cena era, you corny. Check dig though. Call me what you want, but I got kids. John Cena. Well, yeah. For and sure. when I talk to my kids, so if you watch, no, it listen, for hold on. Let me, let me, let me speak my piece. Go ahead. And my kids like wrestling. They got all the wrestlers and all that shit. And I'm really into talking to my kids. Okay, like, yeah. I, a lot of parents they talk at their children. I like to talk to my children. So with I like to know what they into. Yeah. Not only do I like to know what they into, I want to be able to hold a conversation about the shit that they're into. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm I I play Fortnite with them every once in a while. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I sit and watch Power Rangers with my youngest. Mm -hmm. I sit and watch wrestling with my kids. Because when they talking, I don't want them to feel like I'm not interested in the shit that they interested. Now, in, interested that's in. completely different as you wait until the kids go to sleep and then you turn on. No, I, 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 look, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even gonna now, cap even you if out. you still watching it, just so you can have something to talk about, so you can no, keep up, so I you're not far. I ain't behind, gonna lie to you. I watch clips and shit. You from like back in these the day. wrestlers though? Let now? me finish. They're it made me go back to when I did like okay. wrestling, and yeah. I go crazy on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You feel Living me? In the archive, man. What? The Alliance, whenever WCW tried to take over, whenever... Well, I love that shit, bro. I'll watch that shit all day. Already. Oh, so, yeah. Sure. That's why I'll watch Already. it. So, But, yeah, growing up, I was a Toonami baby. Like, I oh, was yeah, into that sure. shit. I, I gave Cartoon Network a little bit of play. Toonami a little bit. But, you know what? You know, I folks with the Ed, Ed, and Ed. Yeah, that's what I was about yeah. to say. Nah, Dexter's man. Laboratory. Yeah, Ed, 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 Ed. I fuck with Dexter. Yeah, Dexter's school. Do, do, do. Do, anybody, uh, do anybody remember this old cartoon? Like, they canceled it. But it was called Monster Ball. Anybody? Monster Ball. Yeah. Monster Ball. Monster Ball. That like was, the movie? It was like, yeah. It was like Monster Ball. Yeah. <laughs> That shit was dope, but whatever. No, not like. No, I don't remember. Not, no, I'm not like, look, you see, I'm not thinking about that. Not, I want to feel oh. good. Make me <laughs> feel. Oh no, my not, god, that's what he. Not I, like Billy that. <laughs> is it from a? Is it from a video game? I like, thought she no, was about was to say actual, Monster Rancher. It, Monster Rancher. That's yes. what it sounds like. Yes. 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 It was like. Yes, I do. Digimon Jr. Yeah, yeah. I fuck that with was Monster Rancher. Was, so, yeah, was. I was hitting you with that Halle Berry shit, but make me feel good. But no, that <laughs> yeah. Monster Rancher. That was my shit. Oh, that was Had dope. the yellow dude with the one eyeball. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, my yeah, shit. Yeah. Sucked into the video game. Yeah, that was my shit. I fucked with that. Yeah. That was so dope that I started wanting to create my own little. Yeah, you ain't. You that know, was around uh, Mummies Alive. Y'all remember Mummies, Mummies Alive? Alive? That was my hands. shit, too. What about Gargoyles? That was my shit, too. Yeah. My shit, too. Yeah. 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 Hey, nah, but why was Mummies Alive fired like that, though? I have no uh, idea. Why have that was an underrated that cartoon. Back. Yes. Yeah. Hey, what about Street Sharks, though? That was my shit, yeah, too. Bro, hey, them toys were so sweet to me, bro. That was my <laughs> shit, too. Star Troopers. Oh, yeah, for sure. What was the spinoff of Street Sharks? It was the dinosaurs. Remember, there was the... Uh, it was the street sharks, and then they had them about the dinosaurs. But well, what was they called, though? I, I can't remember. Do y'all remember the dinosaurs TV show with the baby that you yeah, in? Yeah, for sure. With the high chair. Yeah, 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 for yeah, sure. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, nineties TV was just so much better. <laughs> yeah, the Hell nostalgia yeah. of it is mm -hmm. so sad. These kids sure. never know. Hell yeah, that's They're crazy. Nice kids. Nice. The hey, hey man, so look, I, 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 I want to get this out here. I just want to know is anybody in here getting vaccinated? Uh, no. Nah. What? Man, look. What? Hell no. Y'all not you try to get sticky hey, and hey. hot. Then go, 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 go get the shot. Man. <laughs> if you're trying to smash some dude named Scott, then go, 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 go get the shot. Go, go get the shot. Go, go. Hey, no, nah, for real. Little bro. Little bro. Little bro. You a handsome young fella going to vax that thing. You a handsome young brother going to vax that thing. Who paid Shout out Mass Juvenile. Ain't going to lie, bro. Classic. Now, like listen, that. I love Juvenile, but can we please agree that that is. Cancel uh, culture gotta get him. That is coonery <laughs> at his finest. Oh, that is fine. Hey, hey, Hi, somebody call Charlemagne. See if he got donkey of the day for that shit. <laughs> for sure. For sure. I'm not gonna lie. That is like, yeah. 
man, look. That's that's uh Samuel L. Jackson at the end of Django mm-hmm. Coonery. Like. How dare you take a classic like that? Dude. That Come shit, on. I ain't gonna lie, that's <laughs> sick for real. Danny it it really shit. is though. Like for the simple fact and that Manny they was, was okay with that. Dancing, look. Where did they find? They got Mia X. Where they there. find Mia X? Where? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Why you? Why, I didn't even know why you doing shade on her? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not Shout out to me and X. I ain't mean it like that. <laughs> no, nah, but she, man, she, she like a rare Pokemon. You getting got her that vaccination, footage. so you say you man. got that vaccination. I thought she had. She had wait, it. hold on, wait. Is she sick for real? She did. Like, yeah, she got underlying issues. Let. I oh, thought she just went gospel. No, man. Man. Oh, see, I didn't know that. And you know, I'm not my. Shout then out I re- to me and X. I try to make no joke, but I like, recant my last statement. Like, I feel know, like a whole I mean, asshole now. <laughs> First of all, the oh FDA, God. let's get on some real shit. The FDA has not really fully approved this vaccination. That's nah, this nah, okay. That's another. Okay, my biggest point. So with you, why vaccinate wait, wait, wait. when you can still catch corona? Exactly that too. But I'm hey, saying. you know, um, Adam. Uh, from No Jumper, Adam yes, Twenty Two. Yes, Adam. He has coronavirus right now. He's fully he's vaccinated. Still, he's yeah. doing his show. He's, he's doing, still doing shows. Oh, wow. He doing. He's doing his show from home. From yeah, from okay. home. He entered okay. From I'm home. Say. Yeah. So make but it make this sense. Is my, this is what I don't like about it. This is what I felt like was like all around coonery about it because they damn near tried to equate coronavirus to AIDS. They did. Yes. They absolutely. make it seem like you can go have as much unprotected sex as you want now that you're vaccinated for yeah. Corona, Corona. COVID nineteen. Yeah. Not AIDS. Yeah, right. like Which has was, been around for a couple more decades listen, than this. So yeah. when I Killed seen the, a lot more people. When I seen the commercial, I laughed for like 10 to 15 seconds, baby. It did like adopt me start yeah, thinking. Yeah, it about hit it. you. Like, what, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah. What are they after here, man? What the they fuck? Why is that man. such a specific... How much money did they have to pay to get Juvenile to get on that song? Hey, hey, and remix, you know remix the hood classic. Man. But he... No, he doing grills and shit. He can still do he 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 okay. Yeah, he make his own but grills. You know he wants some money. Come on now. I'm saying, but how much is your... You think Manny Fresh fucked up too? How Heck much no. is your life... Hell no. Because they can still get paid on cash money. Hot boys. Beats and shit, like, yeah. And that makes sense, but he's no. It, listen, too. which y'all don't absolutely. He had to fight for the little bit of money uh, that he did so get. Ain't no telling him. All those shit. That's why he. That's why everybody left, bro. Man, they get money in protection. Jacquees, you hit it, man. You gotta get like the fuck that. up out of there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. On phone, on phone, them grave. You gotta get up out of there, shorty. On phone, them grave. My opinion: them Real niggas cut. is getting money Real and protection for them to do something like that. She on the phone talking to her she in there? You think she can give me water? Oh my God! I, I, I got you, Nino. Thank you. Oh, you get, there it go. Want, he said, "Can you get him a water. water?" Thank you. Agua, por favor. <laughs> Shit, that's one right there. I don't I'm think nobody did. That's, right that's her. Hey, yeah, um, no, for real. I am starving, you all. We should have had some some snacks, some hors d'oeuvres. If y'all would have said that, I would have ordered would've, something yeah, to me eat. Too. I would have, for sure, for sure. I would have ordered something. Thank you. Damn, it ain't nothing around here but a Wendy's. What you tripping? Yeah. Well, Brown Street, we Joe's made Pizza, I'm we made Joe's this. Pizzeria. You tripping? Hey, you know what? Ooh, See, I'm not even hit. Never had Joe's. Fire. Never had. Joe's. Get nothing little. Hey man, Fire. shout out to you Joe's good. Pizzeria, man. Uh, East Side's hidden gem. I'm not gonna lie no, to man. you. Hey, we not sponsoring them today. Give us hey, some free shout out. To what Joe. you said? <laughs> said that shit too good. Enough. I'm saying, but how <laughs> how would they know until they know that we fuck with Joe? Hey. Joe's Pizzeria. <laughs> Everybody has one. Fucks with you shout the out long to Joe's way. Pizzeria. Real talk, Joe. Because I'm eating pizza and tell, they paying me for Y'all remember on back? Tell me something, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> we fuck with you. I'm gonna have a Joe's Pizzeria hat on, on <laughs> next <laughs> Monday. <laughs> Shit, um, come on, somebody throw something out there. Man. Uh, you we got know a lot what? of shit okay, to talk about. So, why well, wake up today like on some little YouTube shit? Now, allegedly, y'all, they said Jim Jones. Talking just, to the mic, sis. Okay, okay. They you want to be just heard? Told me, you just told me I sound like one in them. Brand, eight hundred. Brandy's here to be oh, seen, yeah. y'all. She Boy, ain't here to be time. heard. <laughs> but now I'm all about women, black girl magic. I'm all about the women's voice being heard. <laughs> Do your but thing. nah, for real, anybody see that about uh, as far as Jim Jones having this little birthday party and they said Alpo was there? <laughs> what the uh, fuck? Word. Real talk. Bro, that, Alpo living his best life. Yeah, like, man. ain't nobody doing Alleged, shit to like, Alpo. What you said? But 
There is nobody doing okay, nothing so to look, Alpo. This whole thing is really supposed to be about broken stereotypes, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So here we go with the little snitch culture thing. Let's go. Tell us. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. first of all, let's do a little background about Jim Jones. Didn't this nigga do, do some mixtapes that was or a mixtape they called the Ghost of Rich Porter? Yep. Mm-hmm. Represent. Yep. I'll shout out to this shirt. You hear me? Mm, there you go. You feel me? Mm. But now they got a video out, but they trying to shut it shut it down off the internet. Now I ain't check sources and everything. If Star, if y'all hit the Star, the New York dude, Star, right. Star don't report on yeah. nothing that that's false. That's mm-hmm. on some pseudo type shit. Mm-hmm. But how in the world is you sitting here? Y'all always promoting all this not, no snitching shit, nigga. You just was you just got caught. Almost I don't know how you didn't get indicted when you was damn near about to drop that dime. Or, uh, or or try to get uh Takashi six nine. Right. You feel me on that phone yeah. call? Get oh, yeah, him violated. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We still trying to worry about that. But we always talking about snitching and all that type of stuff. And you sitting here, you got Alpo at your birthday party. Mm. Fabulous Mayno, all these niggas over here, and they having fun shooting dice. They was shooting. They was shooting. Allegedly. Can y'all, can y'all hear me? No. They was shooting dice with Alpo. Alpo was no, there at the there. birthday party. Is there video video footage? Of yeah, it? look it up. Wow, that's now crazy. he's trying oh. to stay out the camera, but it's got footage. I'm telling you, look it up on YouTube. You're gonna see a couple. Of, you're gonna see a couple of channels show that shit. But the whole thing about it is this gang culture. We always talking about snitching, snitching, snitching. Was Cameron there? Nah, they said Cam wasn't there. That's Freaky Friday. Killer. Killer. Mm. But they said Mayno is the only one that has reached out to a hey, YouTuber and just, tried to say he wasn't there. That's mighty funny. Do y'all know when the locks... Um, August 3rd. The battle. The versus, the versus, the versus yeah. August 3rd. What y'all want to do? Y'all want to come over? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, let's hell do yeah. that. Y'all, what date, what date, yeah, does, that, what date does that fall on? It's like a Tuesday, I think. Yeah, I'm going to say we're going to have to look. Uh, uh, depending on what time. I don't know. Y'all know I'm going to be at that raggedy ass 9 to 5. <laughs> on a Tuesday. We gonna pie it down there? Yeah, if it's a Tuesday. I just started a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. You work on Tuesday? I do. Close. So it depends on the time. You can literally go. call off now. <laughs> Ain't that yeah. not a you gonna fuck his money up, yeah, right? Call hey, off. Call off for us. You got PTO? Nah, I mean, huh? Ain't you a boss down there? And you one of the men? Nah, I mean, I can request man. though. Uh, Will you get paid for it? Fuck no. Can't curse. We can't curse this man. We got. He got to do the That's right all thing. Right, no, I'm doing all right. I can miss a dead word for y'all. Talk oh. your shit, King. <laughs> you know what? I can nah, that. I'm saying that. I think that'd be dope. For sure. Uh, if we do something, it don't got to necessarily be considered a. It don't got to. Yeah, we can. So we can literally. I don't think I'm old enough, maybe, to to know the whole catalog of the locks. That's the thing, and that's what me and mm. which one of y'all was mm. I talking to about the um. The versus battle was it one of y'all? No, which one about the locks versus um because I damn near want to invite my my brothers is like 10 12 years older than me. I damn near if we was to do something like that, I would damn near want to invite some older people just because the locks was before our time. Like, I can't remember all of their hits uh, off the top yeah, of my head because sure. if you're not old enough, you'll think yeah. you'll you um, associate the locks. With Rough Rider, but they was bad boys. Yeah, they was bad rider. boys before yeah. anything. Exactly, exactly. And then, bro, like, motherfuckers was going back and forth, and they like, bro. I can do killer Sheik season, Lush, bro. bro. Wash Jim Jones, and I'm just like, You really? tripping. That's what I, I heard, I it, and I was lie. like, really? Can I be honest? What? Y'all remember that? Uh, I thought Sheik Loose was Right like, now, in 2021, Jim Jones is probably the best rapper out of Dipset right now. Absolutely. No, ca- have y'all listened to? Have you listened to? I've uh, heard some shit. They was rapping in like fucking what was that? Uh, like, Madison Square Garden. No, they was Cam like still get busy. Shit. Cam just did a freestyle. Yeah, Cam, is, busy. Cam just did a freestyle Joel, recently. He still where he got it too when he got his teeth in. <laughs> Facts. Why my man T fall out like that? Why did, <laughs> why, did, uh, why did 50 Cent do him like that? Hey, fit, would have never known had Fit not blew that shit up. Like that, bro. Hey, I'm rappers. trying to tell you, bro. I love 50 Cent to death, bro. But when he died, depending on how he died, if he go out like this is some violent shit, I'm going to be like, bro. That's like duck. Like, yeah. damn, bro. Y'all niggas play too much, his, bro. <laughs> My, prayers, his, prayers that they don't. I won't fit the love of a long, I just don't petty see ass nobody, life. I don't but see yeah. nobody being in reach of fifty that fifty don't want. 
and reach of him at this point. True, but yeah. then again, you don't know though, because Fifty he still do some regular ass nigga shit. Yeah. Like I seen, you know what I'm saying? He did was you, walking yeah, and yeah, you see dude shit. Shit. Yeah. and old boy yeah. ran yeah. up. He did that shit like two or three times. Yeah. He's still good. I give you that. So, so you know. <laughs> but you then again, it, you you know how this industry shit is, bro. You got to think about how much of that was planned. Oh yeah, and gimmick as fuck. So yeah, yeah, you feel so me? For sure. We know but, Fifty is the biggest troll. He Absolutely. was one of the yeah, you, the inventor of the hey, troll I swear shit. To God, he curly. gave six nine the juice. He called him his son. It damn near solidified him as the new sense. king of New York. Yeah. Cause who was the king of New York after fifty? Hey. Oh, after shit. fifty, nobody. Right. nobody. Nobody. It sure wasn't fifty. It was going to be Pop Smoke, but yeah, he had an because he, he but, but, I, but I, before I Pop Smoke to, though, it was six nine. Oh, yeah. Before he saying? turned into a rap. What was you saying, Cuzzo? But so I say something too. Like it's a saying at fifty, but he he embracing um the baby. He was basically yeah, saying, saying the same thing. Saying, yeah, like, like, like I ain't like, get to do this. I ain't get pop. to do this with pops. So I didn't yeah, see that. Right, baby. Right. Yeah. He's like he listen. He eat like so. Let's see. Gotta but love fifty. We though. fifty that fucking it business, up, man. man. But he petty. Sure. He's so damn petty. Like the fact that he's still buying Ja Rule's concert tickets. Ah, uh, he's yeah. Like, bro, <laughs> it, it, it was like two. It was like, yeah. Ooh. Hey, that's different. Yeah, bro, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fucked up. up. Don't go there because the whole beefing with the sun shit is like, beefing yeah. Now you a little weird to me. That's yeah. doing. That's taking it there, bro. Yeah, but you know what, too though. You but gotta, do you, you see how? Think about what his mama. Was, that's like, no excuse. Do you see? Not, that's excuse. Oh, no, no, no. You talking about his son's mama? His son's yeah, mom. she brainwashed. You gotta think him. about it. you. You you can brainwash, she brainwash him child. for sure. And then you can keep the child away from him. now. When the child come around, he voiced yeah. opinion from the mama perspective, perspective instead of getting to know you your, right. your father. He's tainted yeah. goods at that point. Yeah, yeah. yeah I sure. get what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. But Speak, hold on, wait. So but, on, hold but, on. But, wait, I know what she's saying because with the power and the money this niggas had. Oh, yeah. Hold man, on now, let her let her speak yeah. her piece. Stop, again, that's another that's excuses. Okay. Black men gotta stop using their excuses because this way through the government is ways for your ass to go downtown, get you some what some joint custody or whatever, mm-hmm. and be able to get your child too. Yeah. Okay. It's 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 ways. Yeah, you can't just you can't just be like, oh my baby mama yeah, just now, saw you know yeah, I mean. my baby mama she don't want me to see him take your ass down there to the juvenile building down here in downtown Dayton, file some doggone papers. Get you a lawyer, whatever. Get your dog on child. Yeah, mm-hmm. It ain't no excuses, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. Same like, thing but, with the women. I hold women accountable too, but at the same time, mm-hmm. us black people, when it comes to those certain circumstances, we I have agree. to accept responsibility. I period. I, mean, I can see that. I can see that. But you let, at the so same, you gonna let your baby mama brainwash your child without a fight? No, you through know, the legal but, system. No matter you, how much you okay. fight, though. Let, let me man. tell you, man. I'm, I'm living proof through my own two eyes that I've seen. My father go through the same thing with, with my younger sister. Like I seen, like his, her mama even went to putting pitch, his face on pictures, putting it in our neighborhood like he a pedophile. Now one thing you know about my daddy, a stand up nigga, he had me. So I'm gonna try to like I'm gonna emit him because that was my role model throughout my life. But to see him go through the same shit and he he put his stuff on child support. He did all that. that. My he daddy. went through the my he went through the that. motions, mm-hmm. but she still taunted my little sister now. She I not fucks a, with your dad, man. My he dad put his own nigga. stuff. You feel me? Yeah, like, and I feel where you coming from because first of all, as far as me, shit, me and my baby daddy wasn't even together at the moment in Tampa. I couldn't neglect the fact that, hey, shit, you still a good ass father. Mm-hmm. But you're not so that toxic. You, you, because a lot of people. Do that's but that, wait, that's the thing. Says everybody ain't but mentally. Yeah. Child support is going to hit you no matter what. If your girl here in Dayton, it's going to hit you no matter what. If you're getting a uh, welfare check, if you're getting food stamps, you get anything from the state yeah, care care source, they're going to hit you. That what the fuck is I did? Not true. That is very true. I'm trying to tell you why. I'm a, that I'm, is that not is true, true. bro. Because they hit me. I wrote a four page letter like I was they a media hit- to the judge. That's the only reason why Russell, my dude, is, did not get hit with child support. All I you wrote, gotta do is not show up. Oh, they gonna living, still get. They gonna no, let they it won't. linger. No, I'm they telling won't. you, the payments gonna keep stacking. Period. I'm trying to tell you that's they're gonna get if you're using any type of job center assistance. So that's one thing. And then I'm also looking at my brother, <laughs> who took in, who got both of his kids got custody of them. I'm talking about I had to go through a whole little court thing, but at the same time, he still got paid child support to the baby mama, even though he still got these kids. However, what? he's still doing a damn thing. You know the system is... Black men, y'all know the system is designed to be against y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put a fucking condom on. I mean, I don't care if you do want 20 minutes, 30 minutes of pleasure. 
Put that fucking condom on. You know, you don't know if you want to be with this woman. You you feel me? Mm. Think about I'm y'all. I'm engaged. Think about y'all. Because the oh, system is designed to be against y'all. I plan on being with her forever. You ha. feel me? Shoot yeah. the club up. Oh. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Black man don't cheat. Black man Ooh. don't cheat. Amen. Hey. <laughs> Preach. Oh, you're fucking hilarious. Nah, uh, nah, I feel it. Everybody got a valid point, though. I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah. Everybody got a valid point. So let's segue to this. Shout out to Jason DBKS, Dayton Zone. He has a cartoon bitch, out there. Oh, Fuck they child support. Take One time for money. Jason. Bitch, child support. Yeah. 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 I ain't catch that. Say that again for me. Fuck phase on love, fat ass. Nah. Don't even do that because they pieced it up already. You didn't Did see they? that? Okay, no, you didn't, didn't see that? Jason put it on there to where he went on and he corrected himself and everything straight. So I don't know, but that shit was weird anyway. But all right. He, he but you got to think. He he Vlad, Vlad, you know, I don't brown blame Vlad for, you know what I mean? No, 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 no. We can't put Vlad on. Out of, listen. You know how he is. Faison, no, he Faison didn't do. Listen, yeah, Vlad Faison TV Vincent. do his thing, but that Faison is an old nigga now, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. Look up how old Faison oh, is, he for old. Me, Brandy. Yeah. He's an older cat now, though. It's hard like for him to. Yeah. No, for real though. You feel yeah, me? Sure. Nigga, twenty years from now, I'm not going. You got to think, cause how long ago Friday did Jason? Come on now, that nigga got to How be how long ago did Jason? Jason started that cartoon? What a year ago, a year and a half ago, like. They, right. That shit was been in, in the works. You got to think about how much other shit Faison done probably did. Mm-hmm. On top of the fact that he's not a spring chicken anymore. 53. Right. He 53. Okay. See what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That's me. That's me in 21 years, bro. I'm not going to... My job... My boss called me and what asked you? me about shit that I delivered two weeks ago. I ain't get... Nigga, I don't know. <laughs> I wonder... You know how many blunts ago that was? Uh-huh. I don't. But do you get my point? Like... So I and, do, but I don't know. I just think different, man. Like I ain't gonna forget who I did a project with. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. That's just I don't forget shit. But like if that. you thought it was something that was never gonna come out, and you just felt like it was a quick lick, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if you felt so. like but it yeah, was it never gonna. Just, it, yeah, I feel what you're saying. Cause shoot, y'all probably you you probably done did a few songs and you done forgot about it. You know what I mean? With somebody. Listen, so, that is funny that you say that. Even, you know and I'm saying? not that, trying to be funny. Same, you know, so. But I am the repo man of verses. <laughs> if you don't use mm-hmm. my song that I dropped for yeah. you, I'm going to take my verse. Did yeah. I do that to you? No. I threatened to do it to you, though. I'm t- I don't play mm-hmm. that, bro, because that, yeah. that verse could be the verse. You mm-hmm. feel me? Mm-hmm. And I could not. And I, I love, bro. Like, I got love for, bro. Like, also, like, hold on. Boy, you wrote a verse. He and had he a fin- fire ass out. No, he finished it. Yeah. Okay. It, it's a banger, too. Damn, bro. You know, I didn't put. That's another, that's another conversation. Right. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, you feel me? Like, I'm yeah. the king of that. Like, if you don't plan on using my shit, I'm going to use my shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I can make use sure. of that. Yeah. yeah it could be, be Like I said, especially if I feel like it's him. Like, I did it to Skello. <laughs> he probably was solid in the hoop, nanny. <laughs> what did he say? His hook was like, um. Uh, I do it for my mama. I do it for my hood. I something, something, something. It was a banging ass song. Mm-hmm. But brother never do nothing with it. Yeah. Me and Cash got together, did Mud Bros. I do it for my mama, turned into Mama, I love ya. Mama, I love ya. Mama, I... Uh-huh. <laughs> Give me that. Like, I'm weak. <laughs> so I can see him like doing some shit and just being like a quick money grab that ain't gonna turn into nothing. Right, right. You feel me? Yeah. He just don't know Jason. Uh-huh. Right. That's what that's what mm-hmm. it boiled down to. He just don't know what type of nigga he was dealing with. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But shout out to Jason, shout out to Faze on Love, man. shout out to Fuck Child Support. <laughs> Dating shit. Hey. I saw um Speaking of dating shit, y'all watch Country Wayne videos? Mm-hmm. Y'all fuck with Country Wayne? Yeah, yeah. I'm hip to A little him. bit. I know who he is. All right, so. He be funny sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. Um, y'all ever see the little girl that's, that's dating his son? Um, her name Blake. Y'all mm-hmm. never see. So you don't tune in enough. 
Well, they do skits with this girl that's supposed to be his son's daughter, and she had a self-made shirt on the other day. Huh. I thought that was not a real, like a dating self-made mm-hmm. shirt, though. I thought that was tight. Sure. Was it real? It was, product, it, it was his that's shirt. What's up. You could tell it was his. You know the design when you yeah. see it. Because I seen um, some self-made shirts inside of like Burlington and shit, but it say like Savage on it or some. Oh, you feel mm-hmm. well, like, same yeah. type of font, yeah. yeah. No, like, not even the same not, type not of font, but it's, font, it just, just says self made on it. You see what oh, I'm saying? Okay. It's like a little oh. jump man, they jump in version. But when you see it, like when you see the Dayton self made, right, you know right. his you logo. Know. So I'm like, oh, damn, yeah. that's tight. I put it on Facebook the other day. Okay, I thought that shit was sweet because, bro, uh, I don't know, bro. We slept on for real Absolutely. as a city. We got so mm-hmm. much shit going on, bro. Most definitely, most definitely. It's a Hey, Go so getting hustling I want to ask y'all really. how y'all feel about the new NBA 2K cover. I don't know if y'all have even seen it, but they did three of them, and the main one they're going to have is Luka Doncic on the front of it. I respect that. You respect it? I respect it. I wanted to give him MVP, yeah. honestly. They didn't – he didn't make the cut, man, but wow. who was pass, showing out? Pass that around. For I, I, I feel like you, bro. I, if we talking 2K, all right. first of all, Trey Young almost made it to the finals. For sure. So did Luca. I mean, Luca no. got, uh, got eliminated. He, he got eliminated the by the yet. same team that mm. eliminated him last year. He running into a Jordan wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for them to praise him up over Trey Young, bro, Trey Young made them change the shooting rule. For sure. And it's only a couple mm-hmm. people that made her do it. Shaq was one. Allen Iverson was another. Mm-hmm. Isaiah Thomas. I just I don't know, man. I. It was just, I like, don't get me wrong, it wasn't like I was just so in tune to basketball, but I just wasn't hearing Trey Young's name throughout the season as I was Luka, man. Like, Luka did a lot plays. of remarkable shit this season. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. He did and, a lot and of not to take away from Luka at like, all, but I just, I just don't know if he's worthy of a video game cover when you got people younger than or same age going further in their career. I can dig that. Like, too. can you like, name, can like, you name Trey Young's help? Speak your piece, King. I see you was about to say something, and then you stop. For me? Yeah, tell him how you nah, feel, nah, man. I was, I was thinking I was rebuttaling what bro was mm-hmm. saying. But when it comes, I, I get what you're saying. But like I say, with Luke, like like I can see, I can even see you doing a job there. I can see you putting Trey. I can see you putting Trey into the mix. Luca, though, I feel like Luca ain't do a lot for me yet. Like... He ain't get now. Did he get rookie of the year? His rookie year? No, no. Jason Tatum got it. Yep. Showing the fuck did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so <laughs> what accolades yeah, he, he giving? Got accolades. Yeah. He got nice footage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He got good numbers. He had a couple yeah. buzzer beaters yeah. that made a motherfucker yeah. that step back wicked. Uh, and he, he he legit carrying them to the playoffs yeah. by himself. So like you might say, who that. else he got? You know I mean, he, he got Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway decent. He ain't really Tim Hardaway Junior decent. His daddy was big Tim Hardaway. Yeah. So. Shut up his son playing. Huh? Mm-hmm. His son playing. Tim Hardaway Jr. Y'all, his son playing. I just, he in a school. Like, it, he wouldn't, he doesn't, he, like I said, Luca don't really have a supporting cast mm-hmm. neither, man. Like, I, I think. But it, you got nah, Persingas. You got Persingas. He's you, not you, the hardest dude in his position. You know what I mean? Like, it, come on, man. Like, he lightweight a buster for real. Like, we, he ain't up there, man. With, come on, bear. Like, well, who? Well, like who? Man, he got, he got. Uh, what's the boy? Uh, D. Aiton probably better than him right about. Better now, than you know? Przingis? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know what he what always saying? has been this since he came in the league, though. Second year in the league. Nah, second year in second, the league. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm so, been, like how long? But they two different been players, down, you know what though. Mean, like, but Przingis still, is also foreign. You can't expect a foreign player to come in and be as tough as an American player. Well, man, dude ain't even American. Yeah, he's from Haiti, but he went to college, didn't he? Yeah, he went to. He did. Arizona, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah he sure he was, did. He was yeah, number yeah, one yeah. pick. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so he okay. played American ball for a good while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As to where I think Przingis is from overseas. Yeah, he is. Imported to the NBA. So, like, he just got that Wait, European ball that, that you don't like. Know, like. And he's just coming league, off a big like, injury, too. For though. sure. Hey, mm-hmm. that's crazy okay. that you speak on college because before we done, I want to speak on Master P's son, bro. Uh-huh. Master uh-huh. P's son. I you hit? 
I'm not hip. Yeah. What's yeah. his name? Hersey. Yep. Hersey. Yep. They Hersey. didn't Hersey. change yeah. the rules Hersey. of college. Bro. Oh yeah. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Now nah, I, I know what you're talking about. He <laughs> got like so many endorsements and stuff already, two right? Million. Two. He got two mil from the school, mm-hmm. 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 not mm-hmm. including mm-hmm. endorsements and all the shit. This this about to be the first time in history where you pay for college and you got paid for your likeness yep. and your brand. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out TSU. That's the school he going but, to. Mm-hmm. HBCU. Yeah. Uh, HBCU. Nashville, and Tennessee. Yep. Man. That was his plan. I went to Lane College, Jackson, Tennessee. HBCU. So, oh, yeah. so just think about they about to have to up the bag in the NBA. If they starting to pay you in college, yeah. they gonna have to up the bag Absolutely. in the NBA. Mm-hmm. Cause think about how you coming in. I came in with millions. Well, you now, gotta think. It's not. I'm you gotta broke. think now too. I'm broke from the street, and I you, can't. You take can. No you can go to the G League and get paid. You could. You absolutely. So people were skipping college and just going to the G League. But a nigga ain't developed. gonna skip college no more because exactly. you're gonna be no, able, yeah, yeah. You're gonna get paid but, and you're gonna get a that's fucking. That's why college had to do it because the G League came in and they were like, bro, G League mm-hmm. finna make us. But listen, you're gonna get an edgy. Hold on, you're gonna get an education too. That, but right. do you understand that's why they had to switch up their format right. yes. from the slavery shit Act, that they the was doing to us? The bag about to go up everywhere, bro. For sure. For sure. Damn, why didn't. Should have played ball. Hey, you got some pretty athletic looking sons. You said the incentive. They on the way. I ain't going to lie. My baby cousin, Javion. Ooh, he going to buy me a Lamborghini. (laughs) That little nigga. No, I'm serious, bro. I'm going to send y'all some of his videos. Post some of them videos of your son up in our group chat. For sure. I'm talking about this little nigga. He only four. Mm -hmm. He can shoot behind it like. Behind his back, he dunking on shit like he dribbling. Right. I know that's right. Like he get busy, yeah, brother. He go right. on the inside. He got a three on him, bro. And his that's daddy, right. his daddy is Joe Jackson with this Come basketball on, shit. I'm serious, bro. Like I guarantee you, this little nigga gonna get ranked by like the fifth grade, bro. Hey, that's hard. All me. Right. Hopefully. Hopefully we stay doing this. Like this is a consistent thing for years and years to come because we go go back to the first episode when I told you my baby cousin <laughs> goes <laughs> fucking crazy, bro. Hey, uh, so not to switch topics, but let's talk about that double XL cycle. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. Y'all, we've been here for about three and a half hours. I'm starving. I, I mean, food sounds great. What's up? What's up? I'm starving. Where right we at now. with it? Because uh, I'm so hungry, I eat a four for four right now. My nigga, so, <laughs> what y'all want to do? It don't matter to me. I shit. Didn't give me something to eat. I ain't ate nothing since man. Why didn't you eat before you came to work? Uh, honestly, I didn't know we was gonna be waiting almost an hour and a half for somebody. <laughs> That's part of it. Make sure you look at the right person when you say somebody. Right. And, Listen, and, hold on, because I'm on time by default. Right. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> right. I live here. Like, right, so, so that's why you get to talk stuff. Yeah, for sure. Like, oh shit, my bad, y'all. Mm-hmm. Talking about where you didn't eat my bad. before you got here. I mean, that don't change the fact that you should have ate before you no, got here. No, no. I was on time. But what does that mean? You still wouldn't have ate even if I was on time. No, we would have probably got done. You a lie. Shooting a little you bit. was a lie. We would have smoked. We definitely would have We would have smoked more. We got to yeah. got All right, so look, look, let me ask y'all because I'm not going to hold y'all to like a certain time. I'm going to be honest. We talked for two hours. So at this point, this is where you make your decision. We can keep talking about some shit and order some food. We can go ahead and wrap it up and Brandy can go get something to eat. Or... I don't know what the other y'all hey, come it, up with it, the other options. I don't think it's nine o'clock. I don't think it's nine o'clock. Damn, it is nine. I tell you what, you know what? I tell you what, niggas is wrapping up. So, wife, wife, on tell shit. me. Is she like, when you done? So, I, what y'all want to do? Y'all want to wrap it up? Yeah, let's do that, bro. Y'all want to do one more topic or something, and then you want to go ahead and. What's about to be open around here? It's about to be nine o'clock. Um, Brown Street, right down the street. Yeah. Uh, um, Brown Street start closing about. No, you you hmm? wrong. Nine thirty ten. Them college kids want to eat. Mm-hmm. They getting high and they want to eat. <laughs> My homeboy <laughs> calling me. Y'all think I should throw him on last at the last minute? Let him talk his shit. <laughs> Since we're about to end it, might as well, man. Go on. <laughs> you said you might as well, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wife now. Oh, no, I'm cool. <laughs> Tushin. 
To accept this call, press zero. To re- this call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. <laughs> Thank you for using GTL. Brother B, what's going on, man? You with Big Homie Nino and um, Brandy Danielle, Slim Beasy, Arco, and JJ Baby, a part of the Everybody Has One podcast. How you feeling today, brother? I'm doing terrific. I'm doing excellent. I'm doing better than ever. What's going down? Nut, man. We wrapping up the pie for real. I would have picked up, but we was in the middle of topics, and I didn't want to just tap you in just all of a sudden. But how you feeling today, brother? Uh, I'm, I'm I'm doing pretty good, man. You know, had a long day at work. You know, uh, I feel like I should be punching the clock in this place because I think I work harder than the CEOs themselves. So, you know, I'm just proud that I've been able to keep myself motivated enough to be able to work as hard as I do each and every day under these circumstances. You know, yeah, for keeping sure. Me busy, you know. It's almost over, brother. I know that's right, boy. I know that's right. So, shit, you got anything you want to say? There. Y'all want to hear my nigga? I ain't going to lie. The man on this phone right here, this who taught me how to rap. You remember when I was a part of Crunch Time? Yeah. My first rap group? Yeah. That's who this is that's on the line right now. My nigga that I used to rap with. the with. ponytail? Nah, hell nah. Oh, nah, okay. he wasn't a part of Crunch Time. That's my nigga B. He talking about Stefan. You remember Stefan? <laughs> yeah. I ain't going to lie. Spit something for my people, bro. Let them know where I got this shit from for real, man. You want me to go in on Man, come on, man, for the little rule operator bitch. Tell us how much time we got. (laughs) Spit your shit. (laughs) Give me, I ain't gonna lie. Don't give me none of that motherfucking, um, this call is originating from the Ohio Mm -hmm. and may be recorded and monitored. All right, hey, listen though. Don't give me, listen to me, bro. Don't give me none of that album shit. I want some of that raw, uncut, nothing but bar, motherfucking make you grit your teeth shit, man. Not, 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 none of the album shit. Nah, bro. I need some of that mixtape shit. <laughs> hey, you can't. I was about to say, bro. You can't tell me you ain't prepared for this, man. Hey, and I'm telling you, Brandy is listening to you right now, bro. Why did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> How you doing, baby? Hey, what's going on? What's that? Ooh, the ball of your court, nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. You hear the crowd, god damn it. The ball in your court, brother. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> we all the way. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to let you hear this right here, man, because I feel like... Uh, I feel like... This. This right, here, this right here is something that that you feel me. That's that that motivates me each and every day. Talk your shit, man. I said, when you get money, you can pretty much do what you want. Ain't no limit. I'm like Perry Miller, the way I ball. Cuban link behind fishbowl under the stars. I remember where I came from. Look where we are. Oh. Hey, look what we are, oh, hey, hey, what we are, oh, hey, look what we are, I remember where we came, motherfucker, you know the name, I went from fucking on these tack air hoes to centerfolds. No pun intended, nigga, I'm eating got dinner rolls. <laughs> in my clothes, you can hear the hunger in my flows. I'd be a lot to say I never seen a day broke. That money fell in my pocket. I made a vow not to fuck with the game in fourth quarter with two foul shots. The numbers going up and down like the Dow stocks. Meanwhile, I save proof it like a child lock. This shit is nonstop, 24, around the clock. Nine times you're hurting them. Please turn it down a notch. The crown sat on the spot, then I erected. Money talks like Chris Tucker. You should respect it. Okay, brother. Okay, brother. You um, you spit some album shit though, bro. I ain't want no shit with no hook on it, bro. <laughs> I ain't want no shit with no hook on it, bro. 
I ain't gonna lie, man. Oh, no, he almost gave me that Maybach music feel. Like I, <laughs> he gave I me. Ready to... No, don't get it fucked up, brother. Rawls. He. Um... I mean, that was no. That was no. You know what I'm saying? No shot or nothing. But I'm just saying, like that's. Bro gave me. Uh, he gave me them what's names, man. That shit was hard though, bro. You got something else for me before? Cause we about to wrap up for real. Uh, I'm about to, I'm, I'm looking for that one I did, man. That this shit. The one you remember the one I was talking about, Joe snitching at? <laughs> yeah, he talking about the nigga that told on him that got him in jail. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you funny, dude. Yeah, that, that motherfucker, I gotta sign that one. Yeah, when you done that rapping, one, that I'm making, I'm making Brandy and Slim Beasy rap. Boy. <laughs> hey. Oh, you about to make them rap too, huh? Man, what? It is, it is, Big Tigger in the basement in this motherfucker, man. <laughs> it is dead in time. I'm making Arco rap today too. And I'm making Cuz, she on her, <laughs> what? She could jump on that bitch. So whoop. Oh my she gonna get on that motherfucker <laughs> act crazy. <laughs> you got something else oh, for us, bro? Hey, go laugh. You, if you ain't got nothing for us. Yeah, I, 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 I got so much shit, man. I can't even find it, man. You know? I, All right. I got too much shit over here. All right, so look, check dig, brother. Speak your piece because we about to wrap up this video. And then after that, call me back in like 20 minutes. All right, hey, yeah, cause uh, well, I can't call you back in twenty minutes, cause uh, the phone is off. But I'm gonna call you back in about an hour, cause I need you to send like fifty dollars to uh, Fifty Shades of Success. I gotta give me a drink. Oh my lord! <laughs> Talk your shit, man. Oh my lord! <laughs> I got you, bro. Call me. Uh, sp Talk your shit. You ain't got nothing you want to tell the people, man. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. I'm telling you, my nigga, I got, I got, I got. my nigga balling in there, man. He's smoking. Wait, what? I'll tell you about it. Go ahead. Speak your piece, man. <laughs> hey, man, y'all keep doing what y'all doing, man. You know what I'm saying? It's good to see black folks coming together, man, and keeping it positive, man, and doing something besides, you know, ignorance and fuckery, man. Uh, y'all stay up, man. Y'all stay one up. Real talk, man. Real talk, for so sure. So, um... I'm glad somebody sees some news. You, you hear, you hear sis? She said she gonna, she, she said she gonna have somebody send you some news. Oh, okay. Shit, the, that's what's happening. The realest nigga in it. <laughs> you already know. All right, bro. I'm about to jump off here, bro. Call me back in an hour. I love you, boy. I love you too. All right, in a minute. Give it up one time for my nigga B, man. That's my dog. That's I can't wait till my nigga get out of jail. Yeah. I thought he had some shit that wasn't on the uh on the goddamn side, man. But he gave me some hook shit. I wouldn't. Shout out to you, bro. <laughs> I, I did. I said, nigga, I don't want none of that goddamn album shit. I want some shit, some raw, some, you feel me? So, uh, all right, now we just rambling and wasting time. Y'all got anything y'all want to say? I want to let my sister go eat. It's been a pleasure, man. I ain't going to lie, man. First little cut, man. I like it. I like it. Man. I'm not next mad time at we it. We have some food. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, we, we catering so next time. Gonna, next time. Nah, we catering. Ooh, before we leave, let me tell you something. Can we get off I, I'm, I sorry, made it by I'm sorry, sis. I'm sorry, My bad. There we go. <laughs> but check, my man JJ. The boy make the best fried chicken I've ever tasted in my fucking life. Who is JJ? My man right here to the right. Now you didn't say I didn't heard you say this numbers of now, times. Well, listen, bro. I'm not. Times, you don't leave me hanging, cause I'm giving. I'm giving you your flowers. I'm giving you your flowers while you here to smell them. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> I'm talking about better than my mama. Ooh. Whoa. 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 You might want to edit that better, out. Better mama. Than, better than stuff. Mama, I love you. <laughs> mama, I love you. But you ain't fucking with James's chicken. Better, better than Rick's Bruh sister. Bro, go crazy. Who? Better than Rick's sister. This man right here has the best fried chicken oh, I've man. ever had. Okay. I put his fried chicken up against anybody, bro. Ooh, we. No little, sis, little sis gonna be salty when she. 
when she see this episode. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Don't get it fucked up. Auntie and them do their thing. Yeah. Man, look. <laughs> All right, man. We done, man. I feel like we did a good job for a yeah. first episode. This is our pilot shoot. Tell us what you think. What they say, like, subscribe, comment, comment share. all that other shit. What she said. And yeah. hit that subscribe button. You already know, everybody has one. Oh, hey.